Hi, everyone. How is your day, Lynn? Happy Hello, New Year. Friends. Hello. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. Hope it was wonderful. Well, what's the day today? Is is today uh, one of the Kwanzaa days? Yes, it is. Today is one of the Kwanzaa days, but I got to look and see which one. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll, while you do that, I'll say, if, if they're still here, hi, Peterson. I think she just stopped in to tell us to have a great sale. So thank oh, you. Thank you. Seven and months. Edward and Paula and Margaret, who we were just texting. So that's funny. Um, yeah. Those are the folks who are, who are saying hi, at least. So if you want to say hi, please do. We're right here to say hello back. Yep. And it's so good to see everybody. Oh, there's Trisha. We yes. missed you. Hey, is it Casey? Hi, is that how you say it? Casey and Mary and Linda. Hi, guys. Ooh, oh, thanks. and then we have a bot. All right. Okay. Right yeah. away. Yeah. Right away. That means we're doing something good. <laughs> I think I put them in. I think I... Uh, got rid of them, but I don't know. I'll look in just a minute. So yeah. Hi, everybody. Merry everything. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Yeah, this is my first hey, time Gabby. saying hi since Christmas. I forgot. Hi, Gabby. I have something you might like tonight, Gabby. Well, I have a few things Thanks you might like tonight, three, Gabby. Four, um, <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad it's one I can pronounce. Oh, did she, it? Did Casey say how to pronounce it? Hi, no. Alyssa. Alyssa. Hello, hello, friends. Yeah. So yeah, tell us. Oh, thanks, Paula. Miss Pat and I. Miss Pat, like at first, I tried to get out of doing tonight, and Miss Pat was like, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> "Girl, you have had time off enough." That's what she said. Yeah. We've had a lot going on, but we still wanted to come to say hey. That's and we right. We thought this being the new year ready to start what would be a perfect time to have craft supplies. We'll kind of give you a brief, like, you know, you could use this like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margaret. And I'm going to be invoicing now. I know Aww. from that last sale, I didn't send an invoice, but we're going to be sending out invoices. And so this is going to be an opportunity to get started on some new crafting. And maybe, and just maybe, you'll be ready to come on with us shortly. And That's show right. That's so right. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. And hi, Liz. So your son is smart to probably not want you to use your real name. Of course, I put my real name on everything, but <laughs> it hasn't always worked out for me. So um, your son is smart. And... Yeah, so Margaret has been on with us before. So yes. yeah, and she did some amazing stuff. And she, so she's saying that you're that you got her. <laughs> so that's yeah. awesome. Crafting is a joy. It really it is. is. A joy. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Look what I'm writing in tonight, y'all. I forgot to have a notebook, and I looked at them. <laughs> Does this look familiar? <laughs> Made by our own Miss Jody Rachel. So if you need Thank a journal, you. great time to get a journal. Brand new year. Start you a new journal. Letting every day you can write in this journal. I don't know how many pages. And if you get bored, I don't writing, I don't either. I just put in as many as will fit. <laughs> so. Get bored with writing, you can go and read the story. That's right. That's right. I have a couple of them tonight. I only I think I only have two. Okay. Because I think we brought I, we brought more supplies than anything else, which is good. Oh, yeah. So and also I want to give a shout out to our last guest we had, Kari. Not yes. sorry. My husband said you got a package in the mail. I said I hadn't bought anything. He said you probably just forgot. And I looked. I went like, hmm. So I opened it up. Mm hmm. So, and if you want one of these, we'll be glad to share her information. This oh, yes. Card. And this is um, Becky's daughter. Yep, Becky Vintage Viking Treasures. Oh, yes. Art. So, I will be framing this, and you'll see this every week. Hey, Mary. Mary has been a guest here as well. 
That's right. She's saying that Kari is awesome. She was very And did you awesome. see on that sign, it just it doesn't just say artwork. It says art and then there's a little is, is work. <laughs> As a reminder that your artwork has value. Yes. And that, yeah. So she said that. that. It work. If you need a logo uh, design, she can do that as well. Yeah, she's she's incredible. I still haven't opened my package from her. I want to like, oh right, you got a sticker too. Yes, oh, good. so that was a great surprise today. Um, I should open mine on um, on on a live or maybe even tonight. I don't know. So I was, this was like a belated Christmas present for me. So I was very surprised. Oh, she's so sweet. That was her yeah. way of saying thank you. Yes, so I had forgotten because she asked me for your address. Oh, I, okay. I tried, I had forgotten you were gonna get something. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. Decent. So yeah, she is amazing. She's she's uh she's very clever and very deep yes. thinking. Yeah. Yeah, very talented, very gift. That's like the gift. Mm-hmm. Oh, she can goodness. carve. She can carve stamps. If you can carve stamps, that's saying something. Yes. Like, have you ever done that, Miss Pat? You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Oh, linoleum, like. Yeah. Yeah. No, and you carve it out so you can make the stamp. Yeah. I could. I can't even. I can't even imagine that. Uh, my dogs are getting excited out there. So sorry about that. Oh no problem. <laughs> They're I don't know who they think Happy is New here. Year. Oh, she, Margaret is wearing her necklace right now. Oh, and it was one of the ones that uh, she chose for you, I think. Right, Margaret? Like there was a, remember, th yeah, there was, was a whole wall yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, I should, I should have put on, maybe in the break, I'll go put on a necklace. I forgot to put on a necklace because um, uh, nice. Ariana's mom made me a necklace and I then... Know. Uh, Chris purchased me from Paula, that pendant Paula, and I want to wear that <laughs> too. Oh, I just, look, I Beetlejuiced Chris. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Chris, I was just saying I should put go put the pendant on that you got me. Hey, and hey, hey book. You? Hey, book. Well, we hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and is looking forward to this brand new year that's about ready to start. I need a brand new year, Miss Pat. Hey, Angela, thank you. Hey, Angela. <laughs> yeah. And if yeah, you, um, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, let's root for 2022. Yeah. I, I remember, remember being so excited for 2020, the whole idea of 2020. And then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I was like, 2021 can't be worse. And it was, I mean, even personally, it was just, it was a garbage year. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, except for the fact, honestly, true, truly, I'm not just making, I'm not just saying this for the audience, except for YouTube, except for this community. Like, thank God mm -hmm. I found this community. Because, yeah. Oh, wow. So nice that you are so loved, Joe. Yes. Yes, she is. Aww. Yeah, it has been, I think for a lot of people being so isolated that YouTube has really helped a whole lot. Mm-hmm. You know. I, I can't imagine my life without it. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, you know, and it's funny because I couldn't imagine even ever doing this before 20. <laughs> well, there's that I mean, too. Please, like how did really? I even get here? Yeah. yeah. I was in I, medical I, school. How did I even get to YouTube? Yeah. But I'm glad. Here I am. Yeah. Yeah. I had been on YouTube since 2014, but you never seen my face before last year. <laughs> really? So you were doing like, it was oh, all no, like the I layout? Occasionally, occasionally I would do a video <laughs> or something, but you wouldn't, you would just hear me talking and showing stuff or doing right. a little tutorial. Yeah. Like and, laying it out. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And you're right, Quinn, and, Chris. Yeah. Let's go in very slowly into yes. 2022. Low expectations, guys. <laughs> no, we got to have the faith of a mustard seed that it's going to be a fantastic. New okay, year. I'll have the faith. I'll have the faith of a mustard seed. Yeah, yeah. I'll, quietly. 
have the <laughs> and now we have like lots of stuff to show and we won't get to everything so if you're looking for a particular craft supply go yes. ahead and put that in the comments because yeah. if in the chat because if we have it that way we can kind of push that up to the front yes exactly hey kim how are and you and i did my uh hi kim and i'm in my room like that stocked with my with supplies so that would be great hey gina marie Hey, I Gina Marie. I feel like I haven't seen Gina Marie in a long time. Does that feel, <laughs> is, is that right? Hi, sweet Gina. So yeah, we have, we have all our friends in here. I, I'm wondering where my, my Christina is though. I haven't seen Christina in a hot minute. She'll so, pop in before it's over. Hey, Lois, how are you? Oh, see, you're seeing people faster than me. Way <laughs> hey, Lois. Oh, yes, That's Gina. Busy. We were all busy over Christmas, for sure. And we, we hope you guys had such a good one. Yeah. Every Everybody needed it, for sure. Well, I would love to have seen Gina Marie's Christmas decorations because I know they were like this fantastic over the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we bought so many beautiful things. Oh, yeah, funny. we miss you, too. And Christina, she, she's going to be here, though, because... Once you mention the name, you know, it's like Christina, Christina, Christina. We were the first ones. We were, um, I don't know what happened. Oh, I know. I was playing um, the game. It's a small world from the Disney ride. Mm -hmm. I had bought it and we do this thing at midnight on Christmas Eve uh, where we try to wait for the animals to talk. I mean, we know they're not going to talk, but we pretend they talk. <laughs> <laughs> So like we were had the dogs and cats all around us and we were like making voices like they were talking and uh, and then we play a game after. So we were playing this game and in the game, there's this cute little card that has a Canadian Mountie on it. And of course, her husband is a Canadian Mountie. So I really? sent her. Yeah. So I screen. I mean, I sent her a photo of it at my at, a look at what would be close to her midnight because she's an hour different and um and then she's like oh my gosh hold on hold on for one more minute and then i noticed that in one more minute it was going to be her midnight and then she said merry christmas you're the first person i've said merry christmas to so that was fun so that but that i think was the mm -hmm. last time i talked to christina so hopefully she'll come in tonight so i can i can see my girl again Oh, Miss Pat, I think you're muted. Oh, I think she's talking to her husband. Yeah, probably. So maybe you guys could all tell us something that you did on Christmas Eve. Yes. Oh, okay. I, she told me this might happen, that she might need to talk to her husband. So, um, so yeah, maybe y'all could tell me like something that you guys do on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And yes, book. May the trash of 2021 stay in 2021, please. Yes. Um, both myself and uh, Miss Pat had some had some sad news recently, so we're hoping we're hoping that next year is way better. Are you all set, sweetie? Yes, I'm back now. My um, since she mentioned it, my brother-in-law died yesterday. My bro my uh, husband's brother. So we're kind of like back and forth going through some stuff, but it's okay. He lived a very good life. He was 79 years old and he died suddenly. So he didn't suffer. And, um, you know, and I just needed this break. So I said, Hey, why not? So I texted Jody this morning and believe it or not, she was up early. I said, was. Okay, fine. I totally was. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh. Christmas Eve was Feast of the Seven Fishes, and we opened presents at midnight. That's awesome, Gina. Oh, okay. And Paula know. cooked her tail yeah. off. Good job, Paula. Better than me. And yes, um, yeah, Miss Pat and I had already talked about her brother-in-law, and um, and I was very glad to hear that he was doing all the things he loved to do yeah. and all of that. So... Mm -hmm. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. You know how they say people retire and then they die? He died like, I mean, he um, retired in like 1996 or 97. He built his dream house. And so he got a chance to live in it all of this time. Way That's out great. in the country. He went deer hunting. He went 
cutting down trees, riding through the woods on his tractor and just doing what he loves. So that part is a blessing. And hopefully we all can. That's what I'm doing now is living my best life too. That's right. <laughs> Even no, it is a blessing because I was feeling sad when Miss Pat told me and then and then she started telling me about his life and then, you know, how he didn't suffer in any way and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I then I felt then I felt at peace with it. And God's yeah. cool, friend. Oh, OK, Chris, that's a good way. That's what we did to my daughter cook. We went to her house for Christmas and the next day they all came here. The grandkids had a ball. I need to post on you on uh, Instagram a picture of the little swing set we built with them on it. That's right. They enjoyed it so much. And we've been having, not to brag or anything, but 70 degree weather. <laughs> I've had enough of that. I've had enough of this bragging. It's raining, but it still was in the 70s, I believe, today. I hadn't been out of my house today, but you know, I think well, it was 23. Yeah. I think it was 23 degrees here oh, today. No. <laughs> Sometimes we go out to our Hello. cars and we're like, why do we live here? Why do we live here? Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Somebody said something in here I wanted to say. Oh, Chris. Chris um, sent me some pictures of her granddaughter by text, and that was so sweet. Sweet. Oh, okay. So, I loved that. So thank you. So yeah, mm -hmm. oh, Christmas Eve candlelight service, Mary. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I missed it this year. I was just too lazy. But Alyssa and Micah and, you know, of course, her husband when he's the pastor. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, you can't miss Micah, it then. There's our friend is back. I know. I think I just fixed it, but I don't know. Oh, if I okay. Did. I'm trying. Yeah. You're on there it. we go. I think I'm on it. But so 30, our oh, last show, we, ooh, 31 and snowing in Seattle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trisha, did you, Trisha and um, Lois, did you guys have snow for Christmas? Because I know Trisha had said she thought she might be getting some and that it might be fun. Yeah, yeah, Paula, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paula, I don't know. My son likes to live here, but I don't know. I chose it years and years my ago. My daughter-in-law bought over a turkey and we had sandwiches and chips. That sounds Aww. good. Too. I didn't have a turkey sandwich this year because I didn't have turkey for Christmas. We had ham. That's what was Did you have a ham sandwich? <laughs> no. I fixed the omelet with the leftover ham I bought. And the other I one. I like that. Salad. Ham and potato salad is my favorite. And my daughter didn't mm. have it. So that was the day after. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what we had. Oh, we bought Chinese food. Yeah, Chinese. that's our food. <laughs> that yeah. is so traditional. Yeah, exactly. I love the hot weather. Yeah, but Paula, it's been raining in Atlanta a lot today, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Over rain turns Ooh, Paula, to rain. Oh, if you're yeah. not busy, I'm going to be coming through Atlanta this week. May, well, next week. I don't know. I don't know what She'll day we're stop. I think she will stop being busy for that. Yeah, right. we'll be we'll be there for a couple of days because I told Curtis I that driving straight and turning around the next day and coming back. So we probably gonna do about yeah. three days or something. Oh nice. Sang songs and the pastor read a story and then solid night with the king. That's I love that type of service, Mary. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, I love that one where it's just singing and just reading the story and then the silent night with the candles. I love that service. Oh, Edward, I'm sorry to hear that. Co-workers passed yesterday, his birthday. Oh, that is so sad. You know what was so, you know, I, I tell you, this is what hit me hard. I hey, would. Warren. Okay. You know, my brother-in-law died yesterday, which was December the 29th. Last year on December the 29th, my best friend died. Oh, honey. And it's like, I talked to her the day before and I'm waiting, well, two days before. And I'm going like, I like the way her problem is not calling me this morning. And then my phone rang and I just know it's her. And it was another friend calling to tell me that she died. And I'm going. And then eight years ago on, to, on the day before, on the 28th, my brother-in-law that died, his daughter died when she was in her 20s. So wow. that's, and those, there was three little events. Hmm. I'm sorry. Well, as 21 inches of snow, you keep it over there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, no. it, Yeah. Hey, uh, Anna. Hey, Anna. I think there were a few people. Hey, Mayberry. 
Well, I guess I'll tell my sad thing then, and then we'll be done with sadness for the yeah. rest of the show. Um, I know that a lot of you beautiful people have um, supported in both word and deed and generosity my son's basketball team. And um, in our basketball community, we found out yesterday that one of the boys whose mom died three years ago just suddenly of a heart attack in her late 40s. Um, yesterday, his dad, I, don't, I can't even get these words out. Yesterday, his dad died of COVID. And so um, so he's going to be living with his stepmom and his parents were divorced. Um, but anyway, that's really hard for this community. And I mean, for him, obviously, but he's 16 and, um, you know, he doesn't have both his parents. So that's yeah. that's hitting that's hitting us all really really hard and um so anyway we're gonna certainly be doing what we can to help him and um and thanks to everyone's generosity we'll be doing what we can to help him so thank you very very much so that's and it for sadness <laughs> how many people got their call from sue wasn't that interesting oh there we go let's do sue talk yeah now. Yeah, oh, Sue, we're gonna channel you up, Sue, Sue, Sue. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean it's sad news, but um, you know, that it's a promise. We're all going to be born, and we're all going to die, and you know, and it all depends on how you take it. You know, if you make it sad, it will continue to be sad. But if we just think of the joys and the time we spent with those people, it'll put a smile on your face. And that's one of the reasons Miss Pat was like, yeah. look, Jody, you've been, Jody, you are not just going to sit around tonight. You are not <laughs> going to wallow in sadness. Love the call with Sue. Yeah, you were like, uh, let's do this. It was so, a lady with a lots of class, yeah. It was like talking to a friend that you met years ago and you've known all your life. She was like, hey, Pat. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, why wouldn't she be? She watches you and you feel yeah, like family to her. So like, she's, you know, yeah, she's going to, she says, I'm just using you as my test case. So I called you first. So that way. Oh, I didn't <laughs> know that. I didn't know that. Well, she um, said, plus, you know, I was the first one on the list that be it that day. So, you know, I, I didn't want to like make myself seem like I was that special, but. <laughs> oh no, you're you're very well one you're special too i know you're special to sue so that's yeah. awesome and yeah she, thank you, I trisha to... for introducing sue to my channel thanks yeah. trisha, for introducing everybody to my channel heck yes <laughs> heck yes and um yeah she the first time i ever talked to her on the phone it was like 2 a.m she's i think she said something like i can't sleep are you up on instagram <laughs> and i was like i'm always up and so then we just talked on the phone for, I think, two hours. And she was wow. like, okay, I'm sleepy now. <laughs> I said, okay, <laughs> go for it. So, yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. Like, you're right. She, she just felt like it just was natural. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, Kathleen. I was talking about you earlier. And Trisha, yes, she's a rock star, Miss Margaret. Absolutely. Yeah. We had talked a lot about um, Kwanzaa the last time. And we're in the week of Kwanzaa. Yesterday was your, your JAMA, which is one of those I can say. And that is a cooperative <laughs> economic, similar to the one that was the day before. And it's building up a community, which I oh, think is very appropriate. That was yesterday, though. Today is NIA, which is still good, which is a okay. uh, purpose um, to make a collective vocation that's building and developing our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. So okay. that is that principle of just building up everybody. Building up so, everybody. And yeah. if you want to talk about traditional, the um, hands-on creating is very, it's a very traditional yeah. um, concept. So yeah, perfect yeah, so. for today. Yes. Yeah, so that's what today is. And then we have the um we have uh Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be like the last day of you know Kwanzaa or whatever. So Sunday, so it's the last day of Kwanzaa is the day after New Year's. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got my I got my days mixed up. I got my days mixed up. <laughs> <And> they, <laughs> 
I, I have it. a lot, okay, y'all. So forgive look, me. it's been a day for Miss Pat, okay? It's been a day. It's it, okay. It's the right day I gave, and then it's uh, tomorrow's Friday. I was right. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, tomorrow's Don't Friday, laugh, y'all, because she thought yesterday was Tuesday, right? Was it yesterday you thought? It was oh, Tuesday? me? Oh my God! Yes, yes, yes. yes. I texted so you. I'm like, yes. I texted you and you're like, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night when we're on. And I was like, wait, what? Tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, we have Friday, which is Akuma, Akumala, however you say that. And then we have Amani, which would be Saturday, which is faith, which was the last day. That would be the last day. That makes yeah. more sense to me than having it be the day yeah. after New Year's. Yeah. So. Well, that's yeah. good. All right. So it still is the same concept for today. Yes. Uh-huh. Perfect. Today is the right one, but I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> no, Kathleen. Today today's not, not Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, Miss Ross. She said, wait, today's not Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. All of us. Let's not go back and relive those days. <laughs> How many of you guys just want to sleep for a week? I do. I do. <laughs> yes, I lost some days, Miss Ross. I lost some days. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Sometimes so. I feel like it's a week. Yeah, where did it go? Oh, you know why? This is the last chit chat I'll say, I guess, because we okay. I know we want to get started, but mm -hmm. it's full on, full on basketball season right now. Like, yeah. it's uh, what is it? Getting ready for March Madness, like from January to March. Mm -hmm. Like, we, I mean, we have nonstop all year. But these boys, oh my gosh, I'm running them. I think every time I talk to Miss Pat I'm, or Trisha or anybody, mm -hmm. I'm running the boy. I'm on the road running the boys around, or I'm at every a chat that she's on. She's at a basketball game. <laughs> every Look at the set. You'll see she's at a game. <laughs> um, I got it. I have to record. You well, you can see by anyway. the recording. Yeah. Today so is just true. yesterday's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Right. Okay. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy, I'm glad you slept. Look at all these bots coming in. We are very yeah. popular today. Oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. Yes. I think it's me and Miss Paula are the, are the, oh, and book. Okay. Um, Are yeah. the wrenches. So. Yeah. All right. And okay. so we're going to let Miss Jody start with her first item. We are? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I don't. I ha, I brought a bunch of kits, you guys. Uh, uh, plastic canvas kits. Thank you, Paula. Miss Pat, do you do plastic canvas? No, I have some plastic canvas kits too, but I might start. Who knows? Hey, well, Becky, have... we were just talking about you and your wonderful daughter. And her yes, we were, Miss Becky. Yes. She opened. Um, uh, Kari's uh, gift to her. She opened up. The art is work. I'm going to be framing it and put right behind me on the wall. That's going to be so good. I can see you using like a colored frame for that one. Yes, right? I am. Yeah. I, use color. I, I think I that would be really nice. I first looked at it, I said, no, I want to pop a color. Oh, hey, Candy, Candy, I didn't sign. Uh, Candy says I didn't sign her pics. Well, I thought I thought I signed them all. I'm sorry. Did you get I, Candy Mama's book? <laughs> not yet. The Charlie Brown one. That one still has to be made. I oh wait wait. Oh, she one. wanted Pooh. I thought. No, maybe it was Pooh. She got one of them. The oh, other okay. one's being made. Yep. So oh, I'm so glad you won one of the pictures. Ooh, that's good. And that Jennifer, I've got a box for you. Jennifer, I've got a box for you going right now. In fact, it's over here waiting for me to put it, finish it up. So just so you know that. Um, okay. Usually I have the back sign too, Candy. So sometimes I get confused. But I really did take those pictures. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, she's watching and wondering. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, the organ man. That's right. We were making jokes with it. That was a funny one. The big giant organ. Miss Pat doesn't know what we're talking about. We can leave it. Just <laughs> <laughs> the man had a big organ, Miss Pat. That's all you okay. need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay, so I have seven of these plastic canvas kits. And I don't know 
I was going to like do bid for choice, but I don't know if instead I should just um, make name a price and put them all up. But I just don't know. They're vintage and I don't know what they go for. I don't, I mean, I don't know what, I don't want to. Just do it. Just do it. Want. This is why yeah, I go on with Miss Pat. Okay. So I'll show them all. There are seven of them. Did you want to put me big or you want to do it just like this? Oh. It's either way. It's, it's either been such way a while. Me. You know, I'm kind of like off my game. <laughs> no, I'm totally off my game. Totally. And you now you can see the messiness of my room. I told Miss Pat I had to clean my room for her today. It looks good. So it I've looks better. Those. It looks a lot better than that it did. So <laughs> here are the different packages, my friends. They're all um new old stock of plastic canvas, um, different things. Like this one's ornaments, and it's got everything you need, including the big needle and the instructions. So you guys tell me how you want these to be. You bought a grab bag of postcards today, Becky? You lucky duck. So all of them are Christmas except for this Easter one, which is like a chair and a bunny. I don't know why it says get well and it's Easter and welcome spring. But because it's a chair and you make all four of those so you can interchange them for the season or whatever, them little picks. Oh. So if you give them to somebody in the hospital, they might say good well, but they don't want to keep saying get well. So when they come oh, home. Oh, right. Yeah. Well. Happy Easter. Yeah. Welcome spring. Get well. Okay. That makes sense. So, so there's this one. Um, then there are country church oh, that's posters. Yeah. That and again, good. everything in there. A Merry Christmas Victorian Angel. Mini gift <laughs> totes. <laughs> well, Paula, I was waiting for you to tell her, so I had to tell her. <laughs> oh, what, what? Oh, did Paula tell me that? Oh, tell me. Tell her, Miss Beth. Oh, I see. Oh, look, little wigglers. I don't know what little wigglers are, but one's a snowman, Santa, and Rudolph. The, the head kind of like you know, stand still and the body will shake, I believe. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I'll they like it. legal. And lastly, the snowflake tree topper and ornaments. So, I don't know. Let's, Miss, Miss Paula, do you want a job tonight? Because <laughs> if you do, um, we can start these. I, I'd say, I don't know, we can start them at $4. No, those are, let them pick. Like, say they're $6, your choice. Okay, six dollars your choice. <laughs> Were you going to do an offer up starting at four? I was going to do an offer up starting at four. Oh, okay, choice. that's good. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you want a job tonight, Paula? Fine, you're hired, Paula. I would be the first one. Lois is already claiming one, so you need to go on and uh, which way are we going to do it? Offer up, set price, what? Okay, I will do. I will do what Miss Pat suggested, and I will do the offer up, six dollars. And so, Lois, if you want this one, if you could just type in uh, Easter, and go ahead, Paula. I'll, well, we can. I can remove that comment, Paula. Oops, no, I can't. Oh. No. It won't let me, it, it'll make me block you. So I'm going to say $6, oh, yeah. $6, your choice. So I'll, if you want the flower pot one, Correct. sorry about that. Yeah, it's $6. Oh. Yeah. All the right. Before, the before that one. Oh, she says before that one. Yeah, before oh, that. Oh, the, the package ornaments. I think it's this one. Okay, so... Or okay, so all right, I'm writing this down. You got Easter. it, Lower. So if anybody Weagles. wants, um, okay, good. So that one's that one is sold. If anybody wants, um, this one, the coasters. The I don't know why I just stuttered. Um, six dollars. Oh, you're typing in the names for me. Is that what you're doing? This yeah. Time? Thank you. Then the angel. Oh, the angel is really pretty. And then totes. T-O-T-E-S. 
And then Wigglers, which you taught me about. How you spell that? Oh. <laughs> W-I-G-G-L-E-R-S. And then Snowflakes. Margaret wants the totes. Okay, honey. You got it, Miss Margaret. I think I have a box for you too, actually, Margaret. Oh, that's a, that's a snowflake? Yep. I missed that one. I didn't see that. Yep, that one is um, a topper and then little snowflakes. So, yeah, so I have two, 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 four, five left. And at any time, if anybody wants to claim them during the show, you just go right Lois ahead. will take the Easter if it's still available. Yep. Okay, Lois. You got it, babe. I'm making all kinds of packaging noises. Over hey, Erin, how are you? Oh, hi, Erin. All right, Lois, I got you, love. So I'll put that over there. That's my box of things that need to be shipped. So, okay, so we've got four left. The snowflake, mm -hmm. the wigglers, the angel, and the church coasters. So okay. if at any time anybody wants those, you let me know. And that's my item. Oh, you're only showing one, okay. <laughs> well, I just showed seven, Miss Pat. Okay, I'll do a choice type item as well. Okay. It's my Adi Swap. Oh, I guess I got to make me big. Yeah. Okay. It's you, girl. It's my Adi Swap. And oh. Are all of them the same? Let me so let me separate them. Nope. I ain't got to do much separating. Let's just do. I got two different ones. We're just gonna do all these the same. What these are, are these? for? Like, Oh, these are for a planner. Oh, and it's yes. got a bunch. This is everything that's in this little pack. And it fits regular planners, or you can create your own. And these are stickers, some of everything in there. And I don't know if you've priced her stuff, but it can be pricey. I don't know her name. Really? Yeah, yeah, she's pretty uh, popular. And this has a total of 478 pieces in there. And it's your choice, $3. And I have one, I have five of them. So that's five oh, of them. Okay. So five people can claim them. You can claim one, you can claim two. They're $3 each. And what do you want them to write in, honey? Um, a, Just stick, stickers, maybe? Just the letter A. Oh, uh, Casey. Or, or that's Liz. Too. It's Liz, right? I'm sorry. I'm going to go back and look. I don't want to keep saying her name wrong, but she's claiming, I think, one. How do you Okay. I see Casey May. And if you could send me your information, I think. Yeah, um, I think she's her name to both Liz. of us. Okay, Liz. Liz, 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 Liz. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget it. That's what I'm putting in the parentheses next to her name. And I see Lois. And I see Kathleen. Oh, Margaret says I have to apologize for only showing one. She item. wants two of them. <laughs> okay, I have you down for two. So that's one, two, that's four. So I have one left. Um, or, or Catherine, do you want two, two? Because I see you says A plus A. So does I she think, want two? I, I, so it looks like uh, Liz takes two because she two. was in there first for right. two. Then Lois won. Yes. Then Catherine, I believe, wants, she wants two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Two. Okay. We Does that you. leave any left? Nope, that's it. I really oh, have okay. to put it. Hey, Norma Jean, how are you? And she wants hey, Norma to Jean. Okay. Thank you all. Very much appreciate that. And Paula is doing her job. She's like sold out. I need to find my sticky notes. Where are my sticky notes? While Jody's going, I'll find some sticky notes. Well, I'm Thank only showing one item. item. So. Oh, yeah, you did send it earlier. Thank you. Yeah, she knows how to follow instructions. Because <laughs> in my video today, I said, now, if you're new and you want to be in the cell, you can go on and just send me an email now. She did. Thank you. She's so good. 
Okay, so well, thank you. Well, Joey's gonna find my sticky notes. Okay, so I have, um, speaking of stickers, I have some uh, Frida Kahlo stickers, Ooh. you guys. So this first set that I have is a set of 10. Um, let me just check and see if both sets are exactly the same, which then I can just sell the both of them. And then it will be like two items. Okay. Um, nope, they're different. They are, what, let's see. Nope, they are the same. Okay, I was wrong. So I have two sets of Frida Kahlo stickers, and there's 10 in each package. So the package will come like this. And because, and I kept a set for me, don't you worry about it. So I will show you what's in each set. So um, I love you too, Kathleen. Oh, okay. And, and we can call her Kate. Kazi or Kazi, it's her nickname. I'm going to say Kazi. Hi, Yvonne. So, um, all right, I'll show you these. And Paula, we're going to start these off because I really stupid. don't, I don't know their value. Uh, I got these from an artist friend of mine. So there are two sets available and I'm going to start them at $4 and you can, oh, Ariana's here. Hi, Ariana. Hey, Ariana. I got a lovely... I got a lovely FaceTime phone call from Ariana the other night. It was so cute. Oh. So um, that's what I'm saying. This community it saves my life. I love this community. So hey, booty. So, um, okay, so I'll show you. I'm going to start these. At, yeah, good. We said, so there are two sets. One, look at her. Great. So they're about yay big. They're not small stickers. And, oh, I didn't see your I love Jody, but I did now. So here is Frida with her pets. Frida with her chunky necklace. Frida again with her monkeys. And with another one, the color seems a little bit off in the camera. She's not yeah. that red faced. I'm gonna guess this is her mom. Um, I honestly don't know much about her mom. And that's her and her husband. Whoops. And then this is one of my favorite paintings that she ever did is of her two selves. So that is the lot. Um, oh, okay. I see Jennifer at five. <laughs> it's her sister wife, Jody. Duh. So, uh, oh, I didn't know, Ariana, that you're going to be on Vintage and Vinyl tomorrow night. You can, um, shoot, I, I want to share that. So, no, she was not that red faced in real life, Kathleen. I, I don't think she was. I'm, I don't believe she was. So the other set is just like that. Oh, hey, Fiona. Hey, Fiona. Fiona. So uh, obviously there's a second set and they have all the same. So I'll go ahead and we can count this down. I'll do, I'll go ahead and just do a countdown. Um, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And Miss Paula, if you could put in the bit end, please. And we will see. I see Jennifer still. At seven. Book, you would have to go eight before that shows up. Oh, yeah, it already went to the sold. We'll see how oh, okay. many. Uh, we'll see how many Jennifer wants. Well, we'll wait and see what Miss Paula says. Okay, so so the high bid was Jennifer. So book, I think you need to refresh, love. So um, so Jennifer would like one set. So one I'll set. see if book wants the other set for the seven dollars that she put in. And so, 
Um, I'm going to guess she's going to say yes. So we'll wait and see, but I don't, I don't need to, um, I can just wait for, for a book while you go next, Miss Pat. Okay. So thank you guys. Okay. My next item, this is a new steel sealed. It's this craft kit here. I may not be saying it's quite right, but it's gelato. It's these like crayons, kind of waxy type crayon. Well, a, a creamy crayon. I like those. And you get four different, um, kind of like a canvas. You get four canvases, you get your gelatos, you get a uh, gold paint, you get the uh, whip spackle. So if you want to make it textured, um, what else do you get? You get a paintbrush, you get your four illustration boards, you get a spatula, you get a texture card. So when you, let me show you what that does. Where's that thing? I just seen it over here too. Okay, here it is. I'll show you what a texture card do. If you can see this, can you see how that's textured? It's almost like a yes. uh, almost like a stencil, and you're putting this pasty stuff on. So this item here. Hey Diane, how are Hi, you? Diane. Merry Christmas and happy new year. Yeah. This is put for the first person to put in letter B, and it's twelve dollars for this kit. $12 letter B. B, yes, which is a great deal for this. And this is everything you get in there. And this paint is fresh. Not paint, but you know, the gelatos and stuff. It is all fresh stuff in there. And I see Margaret first. Nice. Thank you, Margaret. I just heard my baby boy come home. He's been mm -hmm. a, he's been in southern Maine for basketball all day. So oh, okay. um, that's why I was up this morning, had to drive them all all across the world to get their <laughs> snacks and things. But anyway, so I'll show my next item and then okay. can you show can you show like two or two or three while I Okay, well, that's fine. Yes, that's then fine. I can go kiss my boy. So um yes, Paula is fabulous, Kathleen. And uh let's see. So who got that? Margaret did? Margaret is who I seen. Yeah, I want to see yes. what she does with it. So I have a bag of uh, big scraps of fabric. And there's quite a bit of Halloween in here, which is why I thought you guys might like it. Because I know a lot of you really like Halloween. So um, I'm just going to do, uh, we can start this bag at $6, Miss Paula. Oh, I will, Kathleen. I'll give him kisses from you guys. So he's been on a one of those mm -hmm. fancy, fancy mm -hmm. buses. Um that you know, like the mm -hmm. traveling buses. So I, I want to go hear all about that. I can hear him telling his daddy. So all right. So I'll show you first. So we've got these and if they're like fat quarters or more, really. So you got the bats. And then this nice, this is also a fat quarter of matching Halloween colors. So two fat quarters so far. Then another one of ghosties. So three fat quarters so far. So you're already getting your money's worth. This one is less than a fat quarter, but it's taller than one. But this one has the witches and scarecrows and all of that. This next one's pretty neat. This has, this is a little bit less than a fat quarter. And it's got pumpkins. And then we move into some florals. This one was cut. So it's, you know, a nice good scrap though of gold. And then we've got a little bit less than a fat quarter of this one. And this one is really pretty. I mean, I think they all are, but these are, this is nice quality stuff too. Um, and this one's a little bit less than a fat quarter because it was cut into. And then this is shimmery. And it also a little bit less than a fat quarter because it was cut into. Like the same shapes were cut out of the ones that were cut into. It looks like the shape of a house. So I don't know what they were making. 
Then this has pomegranates and it's about maybe, again, they cut out like a little house shape out of the fat corner. Then we have some batiks in here. Mm. So these are just like someone cut out of a fat quarter. Okay. Uh, I'm crying all of a sudden. I don't know why. Just a tear just shed. Oh, hi, Auntie Christy. Hi, hey, sweet Auntie girl. Christy. Hey, sweet girl. And then this looks like tie-dyed of some kind. We're almost done. The bigger the fat quarters started the whole thing, and then we these are more you know bigger scrap pieces, and then another batik. So this one, this one actually That's is pretty bigger, bigger than a fat quarter. Yeah, that is pretty. But there's some nice, and this one's the only one that's kind of really jacked up. <laughs> yeah, but that's they, cut, they cut a few things out of here. So this is kind of the freebie scrap, maybe. So I can go ahead and count these down. Um, I didn't even watch to see who was who was in. Um, oh, a skinny quarter. I think <laughs> that is what we could call it. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, so this is... I could fit all this if this was the only thing you were buying. I could fit this into one of those $5 envelopes. Um, I mean, but also I could, you know, put it in your box. Oh, am I not sinking? Fiona thinks that, um, like, my mouth, my words aren't sinking with my mouth. Do you see that, Miss Pat? Am I, or am I, am I okay with It you? looks okay to me. Okay. Um. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end, please. I think it's so funny when, when Paula talks to anybody, it looks like she's yelling at them because of the capitals. <laughs> it's you, Fiona! <laughs> that's funny okay so i see the bit end so i think it's i think it's kathleen yeah i do too so I i'll put this all in here for miss kathleen so it scrunches up pretty good but that's a lot of nice fabric it is so okay okay fiona she wasn't yelling at you i promise so, I promise. something about fabric it makes me like i need to be bidding on this i'm like no you don't i know right <laughs> I, I pulled out fabric on purpose. My my mouth is perfect book. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so Kathleen, okay. I've got for 14, the fat quarter scrap Hey, lots. Wendy. <laughs> Listen to the words coming out of my fingers. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. I'm going to just pop out for a second oh. to go say hi to my boy, and then I'll be back in. So uh -huh. sell as much as you want, Miss Pat. Okay. While we're talking about fabric, we're going to stay on that. Wait till you see. You might be proud. Of oh, okay. I would love to see it. We're going to do some uh, quilt squares. It's, uh, this one is for, how many is this? 12. 12 quilt squares. And each one of these squares are, you know what? I forgot. I think they're eight by eight. Let me see. I don't even have a sheet of paper here. I think they're eight by eight. So we have 12 of these. Let me show you up close. It's kind of like a paisley. Um, browns and a little bit of yellow and a real pretty blue. And this is like an Osenberg cloth or um, what do you call this? Well, like almost muslin, but it's Osenberg. Osenberg cloth. So it's 12 of those squares. And this is letter C, letter C. I don't have my fancy letter things today. And this is $6 for all 12 of these, $6 for 12. So that's $6 for 12 squares. So you have that one there and it's 12. Selling a box. I'm kind of lost. 
so we have that one is um, six squares and I see Jennifer. Oops, let me write your name on that, Jennifer Miller. Okay. And then my next one, let's lay this back here. The next one is these shades of pink. It's like a pink plaid, and then it has a green, a kind of a dark forest green print. And this one is letter D, and it's 12 squares, and this is $6 as well for 12 squares. And this is D, and that's $6. Can't you tell, Mom? <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. And I call this one pink or letter D as in Danny. The next one I have, this one's kind of pretty. You get, this one has a lot more squares show you that up close it has this beautiful yellow with these uh, like this cottage rose on it and then it has this brown with kind of a, a tealy cold leaf and it does have some little pink flowers in that one as well and hey Christina we talked to you up we've been waiting for you and this one you have 19 squares you have 19 squares this is letter E and it's $8. Letter E and it's $8. And it's 19 squares. And each one of these squares are about eight inches. So the work is already done for you. It's just piecing this together. And if you put these like say four across and four down, that's only 16. You would have a nice size quilt, especially if you put a border between these and then put your own backing on it. You could use a 31 uh, yard of fabric would be enough and you could even turn it over to make a self binding. So this was letter F and it was $8 for 19 squares. Okay, that's that one. Then the next one I have, I gotta readjust this price because that's too much on that one. The next one I have is red and blue. <laughs> Look at all that math. <laughs> Look at this one, it's red polka dots. And then it has like a blue print that has little bits of red on it. And this one is me letter F. Okay, eight, oh, Paula wants, okay. <laughs> I'm going like, what is she talking about? Paula, this one is $4, Paula. Is that what you, uh, that's this one. What are you, I'm, I'm confused. Me, letter F, $8, Pat. Letter F is only going to be, letter F is only going to be $4 because it's not as many. This is only, um, I think it was only six, but this one was only $4 because it's only six squares, but let me show you this. The one you, oh, with the ninth, oh, E. Okay, so Paula for E. Okay. Okay, so I have you on E. Okay, but what else I do have, let me get these ones out first. These bags here, I did not count these. It's a lot. See all of those? They're pre-cut. And they have a, you know how like, I shouldn't say this because I'm one of those old people, but you know how some old people's house have a smell? It's not a good smell. It's not, I mean, it's not like a bad smell. It's just like a, you know how old books smell? Okay, so, you know, this has never been washed or anything. So you get all of these, 
all of these. This is letter G and it's $3. And this is that dark, dark green. Yep, this is that dark green. Uh, it's not even mothballs, maybe musk. I don't know what you would call it. Smells like chicken soup and moth. <laughs> okay, we got your list. <laughs> oh, so that's $3 for that one there. Okay, the next one, you get all of these ones here. Hey, Steph. You get all of these ones here. This is not as many as that other one, but you have the red polka dot. Hey, Mike. You have this one here. This I love this one, this print here. And you have some of this print here. So you get all of these for only two dollars and this is letter h letter h Oops, wrong side letter h hey nelly oh nelly i didn't bring it in but i found a really cute 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 um i see you for that one kathleen i found a really cute dinosaur book that i bought for your um I think he said it's your son that likes our dinosaurs. Real cute one for him. Okay. Then of these ones here, this is just the solid color, the natural color. You get all of these for $3. And this is letter I. And this one is $3. And that's letter I. So this would be a nice blend with any of them. Okay, I have you down for that list. Okay, so then the next one we're gonna do is now this one has a ton in it a lot these are squares and i'll show you what they look like put together and i'll put one of those squares in there for you it's these two prints here this solid two prints the solid black this print and one more print let me show you that print this print here, and I'll show you how many you get. It's a lot. And these are cut in um, three inch squares, so they'll be two and a half inches when they're finished. But you get all of these a lot. They don't all fit in one. I had them in two sandwich bags because there's so many. Ooh. And you get some solid black. You get this print in this print so all of those squares is letter j and these are five dollars for all of these squares it's a lot of them and that was letter i for the black and white and that's one there that i could uh that's letter I. Pick up the wrong pen. Five dollars. Hey, Katie, how are you? Okay, so that's that one. Then we have another bag. This is a real pretty print here. I'm gonna show you up close. You said letter J. Yes, that was letter J. And it was $5 and that was for the black squares. Look how pretty that little print is there. 
And like I said, I didn't count all of these. Pat put Christina and sell away. Pull a, oh. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to show you those, those what I found in just a minute, okay? So you get all of these for only $2 and it's letter K. And these ones are $2. So that's letter K and $2. Okay, another stack of fabric, $2, yep. And basically all of these is going to be, hey Maury, all of these are gonna be $2 piles. This one, look at there, all of those pre-cut squares, that's a beautiful design. He's taking a shower, Christina Wink Wink. <laughs> She'll be back in just a moment. So this one is letter L, $2. Hey, Yvonne, lots of good stuff. Yeah, we're just... And this is one that if nobody else get, I'm going to really make some quilts. It's on my list of things to do. Okay, and I think I got three more stacks. Oh, I see who was first for that one. Letter L. Okay, let's see who was first. I see quite a few people for L. All right, that down. Letter L, Jennifer. Is this L? That says K. Y'all tell me what L was. What did I do with it? Oh, I see it. It fell down between there. Here it is. Letter L. And I see Jennifer, I believe, first. I wanted K. Okay, Diane, you want K. If I find what I just did with K. Okay. So Diane for K and Jennifer, I think it was for L. That was the green and this was that cute print. Okay, let me write your names on those. Okay. She's not back yet. Okay, let's put your name in that. Um, the next one, I thought I was out of these, but okay, thank you. One more pack of these ones here. These ones are three dollars, and this is that Paisley print. So for whoever got that, I think it was Liz, got the, the um 12 squares that I showed first. This is the same print. And I think she got the other fabric, so you could make a full-size quilt. And this is letter M, M as in Mary, and this is $3 for the Paisley. Yeah. Anna wanted the red and blue. I'm back, Miss Pat. Okay. And I see, let me write Liz on this. So Anna, were you talking about this red and blue here that was uh, $4 letter F? <laughs> Oops, sorry. So let me know, Anna, if this is the red and blue you were talking about. Okay, guess who came? Oh, is Christina here? Yes. Oh, is she still here? Did I miss her? No, she's still here. I think I just seen her make a comment. I Beetlejuice to you. I love you. Hey, Mike. There you go. Yeah, sorry, guys. So I had to go say hi to my baby. And he's so happy. He's all smiles because he uh, he made some good baskets and they won and all that business. So Good. Congratulations. So yeah, he's very happy. And when he's happy, I'm happy. Yes. So. Um, so Taylor, I love you. I hope you're still here. How was my shower? I did not <laughs> take a shower. 
Okay, so I have this. I'm like, I bet you it's vintage. If Nancy were here, she'd have something to say about the year, I think. But this is fabric, VIP yes. screen printed fabric. I'm going to stand up with it. It's just going to be one price, unless anybody wants me to do an offer up. There she is. Mm -hmm. Hi, Christina. I miss you. I was talking about you. So I think it's two, does it repeat? Um, yes, it's two yes. panels that repeat. Oh, I got something in my eye, sorry. So as you can see, it is eight birds total for one panel. And then when you fold it, you've got the next eight birds, another set of the eight birds. The problem is there's one little problem somebody ripped one of the cardinal ones so there's this tear at the bottom mm -hmm. of one of the cardinal pieces so really you have 15 am i saying that right 15 birds yeah. so but you're going to be used for pillow top so they would be great hey sharon yeah yeah you can use it for that oh who are we saying oh hi sharon we'll so we've got a mockingbird so two mockingbirds, two Baltimore Orioles, two um, goldfinches, two bluebirds, two robins, two chickadees, two meadowlarks, and then one cardinal that's not ripped. So you could still use the other cardinal. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a yard or two panels that I think make a yard. And I'm just going to say $6 for this. Oh, that's a steal. Yes, it is. $6. Smells good. Mm -mm -mm. Are, is that by... Um... VIP like Cranston. Cranston. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. VIP Cranston print. So it's from probably, I would say, the 80s or 90s, wouldn't you? Yeah, the 80s. Yeah. Um, you know how much those sell for on eBay, like the solid fabrics and stuff. Thank you, Catherine. I got your information. Well, somebody's oh, getting a deal. And 15 dollars So oh, those for a panel. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. So for, this four, is for just four of the pillow tops, $9.99. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. six dollars to one of my friends, because that's what we do. And I'm gonna say. B for bird, six dollars. Yep. B for Very bird. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even look this kind of thing up, but that's that is good to know. A book. The book. I'll go and get the book. I'm gonna let Jody take two, and I'll go get the Ooh. book. It's such a cute book, though. I just have I'm gonna take two. Show. I picked the oh, book up for Nellie, and I just wanted to see it. It is so cute. And hi, Nellie. So I see Ani Christie first. So if that is right, Miss Paula, you let me know, girl. All right. So let's do let's do another piece of fabric. Why not? Auntie, get get sit, Jody. Get sit. I thought she was going to say shit by accident, but. So I think this is about a yard. I'm going to stand up again. I believe this to be, oh, hey, Aaron. Aaron's back. Um, yeah, congratulations, Honey Christy. I think, so you don't know how to sew then, and you're going to get help for it? I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I promise. Okay, so this is all circus. Oops, let's go this way. This is all circus. This one I'm going to ask a bit more, a little bit more for, because I know this to be, well, I paid up for it too, but also it's um, by RJR Fabrics and it's 2005. And the circus is pretty, this kind of circus stuff without the elephant. Oh no, I guess there is an elephant. Um, seems to be pretty popular. So um this about yeah this is a yard from the what is it the tip of your fingers <laughs> to the tip of your nose um <laughs> oh, Kathleen, you're right that was disrespectful 
disrespectful. She told me she was going to give you, Ariana said she was going to give you, you my number, though. I think, yeah, I said that right. So this one is one yard of the, is it vintage yet? It's not quite vintage because it's 2005. Mm -hmm. So this one's going to be $8 and just put in C for circus. $8 C for circus. I really like this lady right here. That's my favorite part. My favorite part are the human acts. So let's see. Oh, a five second la lag difference. Okay. Yeah, same thing here. Okay, good to know. Oh, hey, Ladybug. I see Ladybug for that. Yes. Hey, Terry, how are you? Welcome. Oh my word, Jody, buckle up. You got it. I'm not scared of you, Kathleen. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes, the plate spinner. Hi, Steph. Gosh, when I walked out, a whole bunch of people came by. Okay, glad to see you guys. All right, that's, okay. if you're ready, those are my- Yeah, I was gonna show- um... Oh yeah, Nelly. Isn't this is this is a special request? Nobody else can get this except for Nelly. <laughs> okay. Look, ten little dinosaurs. And his little eyeballs roll around on each page. I love it. Isn't that the cutest book? I used to uh, be the book uh, seller at Borders in the children's department. I was in charge of the children's department and we sold those books then. So that would be in the early, well, mid nineties. And they retails, were popular. He's going to, yeah, it retails for 16, but I paid $3 for this book. So if you want it, it's $3. And it's exactly what I paid for. But I seen, when I seen it, I said, I gotta get it. And I never paid this much. Okay. Yeah, um, it was published in 1996. Yep, that's when I started yeah. to work. 1995, 96. Yeah, but it, I, I just thought those them. eyeballs were like really. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always he's always giving you a stink eye, rolling, rolling. Yeah. Up the okay, I have you for that. Yeah, when I seen it, I'm going like, oh, I know somebody that will love it. Actually, somebody else had it, and then I was telling them to buy. I wanted it, and they gave it to me at the thrift store. Hmm. Nice. So I have you down for that. And then for Mike. Oh. Mike has said wanted now. some books and stuff on doll making. So oh. I have several of these kits here. You get everything you need to make this little puppet. My sweet. Oh, baby. you made up you made those before. Yeah. This is everything you need. This baby is about six. This finished size is 16 inches. You get everything except for your poly pill, I believe. You get a, a painted face. You get the hair. You get fabric for the gown, the bonnet, the blanket, and the ribbon, embroidery thread, your lace, soft sculpture doll needle, your pattern and instructions. And I have at least probably three of these. Oh, wow. that exact package? Yes. All oh, wow. boys. I don't have any of the little girl ones left. But you get everything you need, and this is how you put your hand up in it once you get it made, and you move them so his hands move around. And yeah, also, I, I bought that food. one from you, the one you made. Yeah, so this is really cute. But I do have, I think I have three left. So if three people would like this, this is letter N, as in Nancy, and it is, how much is this? Like $12. $12 letter in for the puppet baby. They're all boys. That's really awesome. Yeah, these are cute. The one you made. The good me thing is the face is painted already for you. So I see Mike for one of them. Nice. Okay. So if anybody now, Mike, else want one, let me know. Is Mike going to make it or is he just... Is he buying it for someone that makes? Is he trying to learn to doll make? I guess he's trying to learn because he was tell, asking me did I have any doll books, so I went for oh, nice. doll stuff. Okay, oh, and I have Liz easy. down for one. I see. I see Casey too. 
or Liz. Mike. Okay. So got you, got y'all two down for those. And thank you. And back to Jody. All right. I have um so going forward, I have um different craft books, a whole pile of them. I have more fabric. I have two journals that I've made. Oh, I do have um this is nothing I made, but I brought it tonight because I think this crowd really likes this stuff is the um, beaded, the pin, pin beaded art, right? I found some of that. So I wanted to share that. I have more stickers. And um, if anybody wants postcards for car like junk journaling, let me know and I can um, show those because I want to show you guys what you what you want to see. So so I'm just going to do straight prices. Like maybe I'll just show three books at a time, Miss Pat. Okay, and just that's do, all right. uh, I'll just do straight prices for them. So I have quite a few books. When I went through my stuff today, I was surprised at how many craft books I was willing to let go of. But um, okay, this first one is Map Art Lab. And... It's like all kinds of, it, it's not necessarily stuff that you, you um, make out of maps, but it's sort of different types of crafts for looking like maps. Um, okay, like Mother Nature's maps. There's a whole project in here for that. And then there's some map drawing like Zentangle an imaginary map. Um, oh, there's some, oh, what do you call these? Um, mixed media for constellation maps. It's, they kind of use the word map loosely, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So some drawings of maps. I just love maps <laughs> so stinking much that I thought this was like the perfect book for me, but it wasn't what I was looking for. This is, um, doing maps on tiles so this book right here i wanted to see if there was anything else i could oh a collaborative map box there's three dimension there are three dimensional projects and flat projects and all kinds of things it says 52 exciting art explorations in map making imagination and travel so this one will be five dollars m for map and i will send all my books media mail so if you buy quite a few books, but you have other things, I won't mix them together because you'd pay way too much in shipping. So, um, oh, and okay, Diane, I'll show, I'll show the um, uh, postcard too. Okay, so map art book, I see Ladybug. Does... Oh, toys, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ladybug. And then um, this one I really, really, really like, but I have another one that's very similar. <laughs> the Gorilla Art Book, everything you need to put your message out into the world. So a lot of people don't know this about me, um, but I've done street art, which you kind of do under the cover of darkness. You make sure that it's temp a temporary installation so it will come down with rain and weather. But um, I love guerrilla art where you like go art a building, like the side of, I mean, you don't spray paint. <laughs> That's bad. Don't spray paint somebody's building, but like you put temporary art up, love it. I was so into that when my son was young. Oh, here's how to make the wheat paste to do it. So you put your art up with wheat paste. And I would do it, and I would do it with buildings like I knew who the owners were and that I knew they were okay with it. But anyway, there's a lot of, there's a postcard project in here, um, moss graffiti. So you literally create moss and spray it onto a bridge or something. Um, there's a scavenger hunt, there's gorilla gardening. Um, there's so much in here. I actually think Becky's daughter would love this. But um, as you can see, I paid $20 but for you, $5 G for Gorilla Art. Yeah, like chalk art and driveways. Exactly. And um, 
yeah, and it sits nice and flat. There's so many, there's just such good stuff in here. I just feel like I'm getting a little old for running around in the nighttime, but you know. We have Ladybug for that. That's oh, okay. I and then I'll show one more. And then I do have to get, um, I just noticed that I didn't grab my, um, I said $5 for that, right? Yes. Okay. I didn't grab my um, plug-in for my phone. So I need to do that because Gabby bought me those. So <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, I need to use them. Um, you'd be in jail in five minutes, Mike. I, uh, I looked like, I looked so unassuming that, you know, nobody messed with me. So um, this one is the only cookbook I'll have tonight. My Drunk Kitchen, Hannah Hart. She's hilarious. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. And um, I, she has a blog. She has a show. She's got all kinds of stuff going on. But she's the eat well, drink often, be merry type of lady. I, I hesitate to show recipes because, I mean, there's a lot of recipes. So <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> breakfast pizza. There you go. With you fruit, fruit loops. Yeah. Is no, that this, bacon? This is wild stuff in here. Yes. Bacon and fruit loops. Okay. This is wild, wild stuff in here. Yes. Heart beet salad. So this one's only $3. And you can put D for drunk. <laughs> D for drunk. Yeah. Drunk, my drunk kitchen. Yeah, she's really neat. I started to follow her. Oh, and the forward is by John Green, who's one of my favorite authors. So I think that's how I learned about her was on his show. He wrote The Fault in Our Stars and other things. This is 2014. Hmm. Oh, you're doing part of her eat well, drink well as we speak. Good job. Good job. Okay, so I'll pass on that one if nobody's interested in that one right now. And I'll go get what I need for my phone. I'm just checking to make sure I don't miss it. Okay. Because I see that it, Paula had just put it in. But, oh, we have a girl in my community that paints the flag on the side of people's barns for them. They commission her. Yeah, that's cool. We have that too, actually. Oh, I see Ladybug. Ladybug's getting a nice media mail package so far. So, yeah, the lag must be pretty bad because Casey yeah. just got too. So, okay, I'll be, I'll be right back, Miss Pat. I'm going to go get that. I had someone to put that they were looking for the, um, like, the dyes that you use. But, I mean, I do have some of those as well. But I had picked up this little miniature um, Sizzik sidekick. And you can cut the very small dies in these, those little metal dies. And this is by Sizzik. The only thing that's missing on this, which you can buy them really cheap, is you need like a little plate to put down the bottom. But really, you could just put some layers of cardboard. And this takes the very small Sizzik and the die cuts and stuff. This is what they look like. Like, even though this is big, since it's individual pieces, you could run this through there. And you come out with perfectly shaped whatever you run through there each time. So this is a little miniature one. I did try it. It works good. You put it on there. You turn this here. It goes through here and it comes out and cuts your dies for you. And you would lay your scrapbooking paper or whatever right on top of that. So this little die cut machine is letter O. And it's ten dollars. Letter letter O. I have one. It works good. Yeah, they do work good. And I see Mary for that. Thank you, Mary. Put your name on that. Letter O, and it's ten dollars. And then I'll show a couple of the dies. Some of the dies. I'll let you know if you can use it with this little one. But um, let me put a piece of tape on that to hold it. Okay, so we got Mary on that. And then some of the dies, I'm just going to show them and you kind of can just claim them. And I'll tell you the price. First, what I'll do, I'll put together first the... 
ones that you can use with that machine and i'll tell you what the price will be this one is a set of cupcakes and you can use that and this one also comes with comes with the um stamps as well the clean stamps is that the machine for the machine you just showed yes oh neat so what it happens is on this one here you can uh run it through the die first and cut it and then you can stamp it and then you can use like your color pencils or markers or anything to color these and this one here is letter p as in pat and <laughs> this is this is four dollars it's four dollars and i don't know if you've ever priced these things but they can get very pricey i don't know much about them yeah, but if you're cutting out stuff a lot, like if you want to cut this out perfectly every time. Oh, Belinda's here. Hi, Belinda. Hey, Belinda. Okay, I see Belinda for that one. Merry Christmas, love. I've been thinking about you. Okay, this one here. Look at this cute one here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now, so and even though this is a larger one, it's in pieces, so you could run that through a small one or a larger one. This one here is letter Q and it's four dollars now how do you get so do you paint I'm so novice do you paint okay. it after let me you can paint it afterwards or you can you can cut this out in these colors each, no see each one of these pieces is separate see like that's a little flower oh this is the leaves this thing here is it's got another little part it's got a lot of parts in there Okay. So the pieces are separate. So when you cut them out, you would lay this color paper down or that. Oh, color. got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Now I get it. Okay. Yeah. People this love me. Q. Yeah, that was Q. And um, uh, let me show real quick. Cause like, you know, of course we want to sell stuff, but also we want people to understand how you do things. That's right. Okay. That's right. These hasn't been open. I thought this one. I'm going to open this one here. Now, I want to open one of these because, well, we won't be opening that one. <laughs> I was trying to open one that was on a, um, let me see if this one will let me open it. Okay, yeah. Okay. When you look at this one, this is one here. You wouldn't necessarily need a plate. So this was a bad example to pull out. That wouldn't show you anything. So that was a bad example. <laughs> hey, it's so still listen. 2021. We can leave all this behind. Soon yeah, we're going to so leave let's all go this with, behind. Let me see this little bare one. Is that a smaller one? No. Okay, I'm going to go with this one here. Okay, this one here is really a cute one. And I'll charge exactly what I paid for. I paid four dollars for this, okay? And it's four dollars, so I paid three ninety nine, but it's four dollars. <laughs> They're gonna want okay. their penny back. Okay, so I would take this out, and this is for this little sun uh, dream catcher. So I would take that, and hold on, I'm gonna pile some paper up so I can cut, so I can actually cut something out. Oh, this is arts and crafts time. We're doing arts and crafts right now. And no tax, right? No tax. Okay, yeah, this should be thick enough now that it'll run through there. Okay, so normally you got like a little plate that comes with this. But then you would put this little die thing on there. You can see one side has a little blade on it. It's not enough to cut you. I guess it might to cut somebody. You would lay this right on there. And it's not thick enough. Let me get a few more pieces of paper. Because it's really neat how these work. Once you start using them, you'll want to use it all the time. I bet that's so good for mixed media. Yes. And for just junk journaling and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, this might be thick enough now. So now that little plate is on there. So I would turn this little wheel. Maybe I got it in there. Oh, I got it, got it too thick now. But it's still made. Okay, it's going. 
It looks like a little piano. <laughs> yeah, see how I'm turning that and it's going right through there. Hopefully it was quite, it wasn't quite thick enough, but you can see the imprint of that, what I was cutting. And that was thick enough. It would have cut straight through that and I would have had, you know, a nice design. Okay. But, you know, I was trying to like do it homemade style, but they're really nice to have. Um, I use a, um, what's that one I got called? A spellbinder. Oh, and this new okay. costs like, I think, this is probably like $50 new, $40. Yeah, I, that's, okay. I didn't invest in all of it at first. Well, I still haven't, but I was, I didn't understand it yet, but I saw them all. Yeah, so they're very, very nice to have. And when you're making cards and stuff, you can- Oh, hi, Michelle. You know, so anyway, I know I got kind of side. So like say if Belinda was making cards with this, she would just like say, use a solid white background, maybe cut this out in a white and then uh, stamp it with that and color this like brown and then pink, or she could cut it out in two colors of paper even and line it up. And then on the inside, she could stamp your special. Uh, and your card is made for you. So it's very neat. And once you start using them, you'll love it. Diane wants letter Q. OK. I know I got kind of carried away with my explanation. This was Q, right? I didn't write it down on my paper, which die it was. Was this the one you want, Diane? My lag is so bad. Okay, I see we got a friend. Says Diane wants um, letter Q. So Q. I think it was that one. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay. Okay. I've got to so show that Diane some postcards. I can't forget that. No, just, the reef one. Okay, you want the reef one. Okay. Oh, good thing when you asked. Yeah, okay. So she wants the reef one, which is this one here. There you go. So we got you. I got you straight now, reef. Put <laughs> on here and Diane. Plus I put Yeah, I want to see that one in action. Yeah, That's it's cool. real pretty. Um, you know, it's real nice. Once okay, so you I'm going to show something that is not for you to craft with, but maybe it, well, I don't know. You could do an assemblage in it, but um, maybe you want to be inspired to do some of the beaded pin art. You see the pins in there, the safety pins. Oh, those are so neat. I didn't even know like this was a thing until YouTube. And so when I saw it, like I wouldn't have known to grab it or even think about it prior to YouTube, but it's a little basket and it's yay big. And so I have no idea. Um, oh, I see that Mary would like the dream catcher one, please. Yeah, I think that I just pressed <laughs> Paula's making sure to get our attention with all these like yeah, put, okay. stop signs. I got <laughs> so Miss Paula, I'm just gonna start this. And I'm. I'm going to start it at $6 and maybe it'll just stay at $6. I don't know. So it's the safety pin beaded art. I did sell somebody a book about how to make this and I can't remember who that was now. And I think the book sold for even more than that, but um, yeah, it's, it's, I know that Sue collects, I think the angels made out of these, but it's an art that mm -hmm. people, don't seem to be doing any more, but maybe we can bring it back. Safety pins and beads. Who to who to thunk? Like how do you even how do you even make that pattern? You know what I mean? How do you think of safety pins and beads to make a basket? I just yes, it's Annie Christie. Hey Verlaine, I think it would be super cute for Easter. And if it doesn't leave, I'm not gonna be really that sad about it. Cause you could just put some little grass in here and a little bunny. Um, yeah, Evan, they're not hard to make. I, they'd be hard for me. Okay. I don't think I, I don't think I know how to think like this, Evan. I don't, I can think in fabric and paper 
Okay, so I think what I'm saying is I can think two dimensionally, but I don't think I can think three dimensionally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I'll right. um, I'll yeah. start to crafting was real back in the day. You know, that's wrong. because people didn't have YouTube and all this other stuff, so they sat home and made up. They made this stuff up. Yeah. I just girl, you saw and, and oh, I should say too. I should say this is important. It's not rusted in any way. Like you can tell the safety pins are old, older, but there's no rust. So I think that should, gives you a good idea that there's no rust. So I'll go ahead and start to count it down. You did this for Lane. That's cute. So I'll go ahead and count it down. Remember that little jar with the cork? Oh my gosh, Steph, I found it. Steph, I've been meaning to tell you that. I found it, so I'll be sending that to you. Okay, so I'll count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid and please. And Miss Paula, don't go having too much faith in me okay <laughs> i don't think i don't think i could make this i don't know no yeah, I, you could you could my husband and son would be like that woman has no spatial reasoning so i yeah yes yeah, so, hey and somebody else asked me was i gonna have macrame stuff and i went and glanced but i didn't see a kit that i know i have somewhere oh you have a kit for it of course mm-hmm that would be fun. It's probably old, right? any kind of kid. Yeah, any kind of kid. Anything. Okay, I see Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, which is good because yes. Jennifer, I have a, I have a um, box for you. So Just different dimension. Yes. So Jennifer Miller. Oh, do you, Jody, you do think in three D with your photography. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, late. That's good. You're not wrong. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's my item, Miss Pat. Okay. My next item is for this is Sweet Baby Blessings. It's a little porcelain doll kit. You get everything you need. <laughs> the doll's eyes are already preset. She's painted. She has a beautiful little blonde wig. And her eyes are blue. You get her hands. You get a body up in there. You get a long dress. The only thing you need to add is polyfill. <laughs> No, it says polyfill. Oh, poly, polyfill's in there? Polyfill must be up under here then. It says everything you need is in there. Oh, wow. So oh, this kit. That's probably why it's curved. Really yeah. cute. And um, this doll makes about, I think she's about 12 or 14 inches. It's a level one, so anyone can do it, it says. Oh. This kit is letter S and is $20. Letter S and is twenty dollars. So if you have a little girl like about six or seven, eight, nine, even up to ten, even adults, you know they would love these. Um, this would be a perfect craft for them. So this is letter S, and it is twenty dollars. It's a cute that, little kid. Uh, staff says she didn't even know this stuff existed till till you. Really? <laughs> yeah. A, she's like a doll yeah. kit. <laughs> oh, Diane, you're right too. I mean, I have some that you have to paint and all of that, but I didn't want to bring <laughs> that stuff out because that's a whole nother thing. And the other thing I have for sale, but it has to be somebody close because it's real heavy. I bought a heat press. Oh, and I had it for two. I've had it for three years because I've been up here for two. I've never used it. It's they're they're like yay big, right? Yeah, I have one that's for a twelve inch panel. I mean, like okay. up to a twelve inch. So, like, I run like the, what my intentions was, but I still be using the iron. Is use my printer to do a th uh, eight and a half by eleven design, reverse the design, and then iron it on. Right. But I just never think I need a where you live, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll let it go cheap. I'm trying to think uh, where Candy lives right now. If she lives, I love my heat press. I know I, I should be using it, but I, I just have it. I just have it. 
And they're expensive, right? Yeah. Well, they can be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can be. All right. So this next item is going to be for junk journaling. I think Diane collects these, too. I feel like yeah. the last person she I asked, I think too. that's who asked about one earlier. Tennessee, that's right. So, yeah, Tennessee. yeah okay. that would be a long ride. That would be a long ride. I used to live in Chattanooga for a couple of years. I would want to live there just so I could say I used to live in Chattanooga. <laughs> I want to say that. I want to visit Memphis so bad. I've been to Nashville. But Very nice. So um, I have these first day of issue stamped envelopes that were all done by these stamps were all done by the same artist. So I grabbed them. They're from 1994, thinking that you guys might like these. I, one was stamped in Loveland, uh, Ohio, one in Niagara I Falls, the other one in oh, the other stuff. three in Niagara Falls. Oh, OK. I'll show your stuff next. She asked for something. So, um, so one of them is the owl. They're all from the love collection. The other one, oh, what are these? Huh? Uh, one of those sort of land birds. What? I don't know why I'm saying land bird. Oh, like a pheasant or something. I don't know. You guys will know. These look like doves or pigeons of some kind. There are four of these. And then some songbirds. The name of the artist is, oh, goodness gracious, M.L. Ham, I believe. So anyway, these have, um, oh, Diane is two hours from Memphis. Quail. I think that's it, Steph. So four of these, and I'm going to say $6 for the four. They're in perfect condition. And you can use them. They're an envelope. So you could use them in your journaling or if you collect them. I collect some of them. Um, my prized one is I have the Malcolm X one I love a lot. So on the back, it tells the story of the stamp and so forth. So anyway, um, six. I said $6 and we'll do S for stamp. $6 F for stamp. And... Um, Ariana, I have to visit. Yes. $6 is the new $8. You're not <laughs> wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, that's funny. And I see Chris so, for that. Okay, so Ani Christie. Yeah, I know. I've been saying six a lot. Yeah, Auntie Christie. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. And now that I see that other people are interested in them too, I'll keep grabbing them. And I do have postcards that I'll, I can show tonight. But these are my only first day of issue pieces that I have today. So I lo I'm loving Paula's descriptions. I keep wanting to talk about them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like the one you she did for you earlier. And what did it say? Oh, gosh, it's way up there. But oh. Paula's, Paula's cracking jokes in her descriptions. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, bye, Fiona. If Fiona's headed oh, bye. out. Bye, sweetheart. Bye for now. Your turn, Miss mm -hmm. Pat. Okay. We were trying to think of a craft for everybody. So I have this cake decorating box. It's by Wilton. And inside of this box, I filled it with goodies. You get, this is new, a cake boss spatula. That says born to bake. I don't know why I picked up two of these when they had those at the Dollar Tree. You get this cake decorating book for beginners. Nice. You get I am awful at cake decorating. This little stand here. It's a little stand in there, which is very hard to see. But it's a stand. And that stand holds... Oh, Lord, I showed this today. You take these little cards here so you can practice. And you insert oh. them inside of here. Oh. And that way you can practice all of your designs. No way. You, can, you know, and these, depending on what type of, well, any frosting, really, if you have it thick enough. 
then you can just peel this off once you get this little rosebud and you have that to decorate your cake. So you can turn oh, that over. Okay. You want to learn how to do the basket weave. You do step one, two, three. You get and then a bunch it just of comes right off of the plastic. Like yes. you must have to use like one of those butter knife things. Um, yeah, you could use a spatula with it if you wanted to, but what you would probably do best with, you would take um you could be fancy if you want and buy this special little thing, but you can take like an old um piece of cheesecloth or well, a new piece of cheesecloth, put um cornstarch in it. And flour this, and that way your pieces will come right off. Oh, so you so decorate that. cakes too, then, Miss Pat? Well, my daughter, I need to show you some of her cakes. She's the cake decorator. Oh, neat. You get Gabby here uh, for cupcakes. Then you get the tray here, and this tray has some tips in it. And if you're making roses, you take this here and it's, I'm not going to unwrap it, but you can like, say you do your first level, then you can turn, turn, oh, yes. turn, turn, until right. you get your rose made. I've seen those on the fancy shows. Yeah. So all of this fits right down in that little box. And today, all of this is yours for only $10. And this is letter U. <laughs> I like how you said that. And today, oh my gosh, Paula, look at her description. <laughs> <laughs> and today for you, $10. I mean, this is cute. I thought my daughter would want it and she didn't. I don't know why I'd be trying to buy it. She's like, stuff. I'm not a beginner mom. Well, I mean, I thought she would want this just to store all of her extra tips and stuff. Yeah, no, no dice. And you also get some of these bags too. I forgot how many. The frosting these bags, yeah. Belinda. I see, uh, okay, thank you, Belinda. I see Belinda. Yeah, but this is a this is a great deal right here. I mean, this is so cute. It's really well, yeah. clean. I did wash it really good. Then I sprayed it really good with um, what's that stuff called Lysol? Oh is, yeah. So it's a very nice clean box, and it's a good size. That's great. Yeah. So you can see what I paid for. I couldn't get that off. But I have <laughs> the good stuff in there. So $10, Belinda. Thank you. It is an awesome set, Belinda. Yeah. And I'll probably add a few more things in there as I'm out in the kitchen. So I oh. am talking to that lady. Um, I did get an email from her, the Tracy the Cake Lady. She's been coming to some of the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because she's, she'll sell pastries, you know, through Etsy and things like that, things that can ship well. So I'm, I would love for her to come on the show sometime so we could also have that on the maker's, maker's sale. So, hi, Ooh. Dolores. Okay. So I'm going to show two journals that I made that I just found. This happens to me all the time. I'm sure it happens to Miss Pat constantly. Where you're like, I know I'm out of journals I, or out of whatever <laughs> thing you make. And then you like open a drawer in your in your studio and you're like, oh, I just found some more stuff. So so the first one. So these are um, oh, good the time. journals are twelve dollars. This one is made with uh, the larger spine or spiral than I than I use now. So this one's a little bit. This one's a little bit different than the others that I've had. Like the one Miss Pat's using tonight has a thinner um, spiral. This one does have uh, names in it, but I can send it with a book plate. And so all the pap all the pages that you can use are in the front. And then Dolores wants the yellow. Dolores is like, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting to find out. So, all right, Dolores, so um, saying thank you makes me happy. And I'll do a number for the next one so that um, so that people can grab it right away. So saying thank you. And Dolores, I don't think I have your information. 
So um, I don't know, but I don't think I do. So if you could email me right there, love, then I will get that out to you. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that the next one is going to be the letter B. Oh, Belinda did. The letter B uh, for Buzzy B, store, the Buzzy B storybook. Mm. And this one does not have a name inside. And again, the story is in the back. And I see Very Mary. I didn't even see you come in. Hey, Mary. Hi, Very Mary. All right, love. So I'll do the B journal for Very Mary. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, guys. Okay. And my next item is like an origami, but it's called Girligami. What is it called? Girl, girl, girl me. I guess that's how you say it. And this has like all this wonderful stuff to show you how to do some Japanese folding. Here is the book. And it has a lot of instructions in it. This folding stuff is not as easy as you think. No, I know it's not. But it does have detailed instructions and these ones might be a little easier because they do show the paper. So I guess you kind of fold in between there, I guess. Okay. So you get all of that stuff. It's new. It's never been used, any of this paper or anything. And you get a lot of paper. Mm. Well, you got 18 fast and easy projects for making foxy high heel shoes, tiny toes. Ooh adorable critters and wearable bows and more and it's 50 fabulous designs so i don't know why they're saying that and you get 60 <laughs> sheets <laughs> and you i get don't know why they're showing me how many more. things i can do i guess those are the fast and easy ones oh okay. because you get 60 sheets of glossy paper with guidelines for full proof folding so i guess they start you off with this foolproof stuff and then you get to the real deal. Oh. Yeah. Does it already have like the lines in it or something? Yeah, this one already. This is the more complicated stuff. See all of these folds? Okay. And this must be the simple 60, you know, the regular stuff here. Cry. Oh, that is so sweet, Verlaine. I was just going to type something back to her. That's so great, Verlaine. So this girl of Gami kit is tea and it is eight dollars it's eight dollars it looks like a blouse on a hanger a cat yeah a lot of it is that kind of stuff it's all things girls would like this is a I see Gina for that. Gina, okay look at this cute little cat and the cat is lois no lola i'm sorry I, oh and I those high heels. Lois. and these are the bows that you can make for your hair Oh, so thank you, Gina. I have you down for that. <laughs> nice description, Paula. I think this will be fun to do, but I've had it for a year. I haven't did it yet. That's kind of my rule too. It ends up being like two or three years, but yeah, I use some of it. Yeah, I have a rule like if I haven't touched it in a year, then I'm obviously not going to make anything with it. But sometimes I let that go for you know, a couple years. So, okay. So I have, um, another plastic canvas lot. Some of these are made, uh, and others you can still stitch on. It does not come with a needle or the thread, the, um, yarn. So you would, you'd kind of have to know a thing or two already. So either you want, <laughs> these, either you want these because you want the little, Oh, this one's, this one needs help. I might take that one out. So let's not even look at that one. So I've got, this one has the bear in the, bear in a chair. And I'll start this one. We'll start it at $5, Paula, if you don't mind. There's a panda. And this like sort of diamond ornament. Like so I'll show you what what was made and then what you can make. 
Or maybe you just use these as your own templates. Hey, Antoinette. But this hey, snowflake, Antoinette. this snowflake's to die for, okay? To die for. To make sure everything is in here. And this candle, you guys might be uh, Christmas ornamented out by this point, but these yeah. would be great to learn how, you know, to use as templates. I think this is a fly swatter. I don't know. Or a spatula. <laughs> I don't know that you could swat a fly with it. So maybe not. And another three dimensional ornament. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Noel. Okay. And then we'll get to the ones that are yet to be made. So Santa, this looks like it's a coaster. Kids and cats can't break them. Yeah, nope. it's only 360 days till Christmas. Stuff. Another Noel. Okay, so here. Oh, okay. I think the rest you have to make. No, maybe not. There's another ornament. <laughs> so, so far, we have a pile of ornaments. Shut up, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what somebody... <laughs> Honey, Christy. See, y'all bring smiles to our face. <laughs> yeah, we needed this. Um, Stop it. And then another candle. Okay, so these, I think, are magnets because there's another one in here. So you just, or your name tag. This could be your name tag. <laughs> Hey-ho. Hey-ho. Um, so you could have several name tags oh, for all your shirts. Oh, in that corner. Okay. And then I keep thinking I'm getting to, oh, this is a magnet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, she said, shut it because Jody doesn't like the other way. I can't even say it. Like, I, well, I mean, I kind of, ca I can, but yeah, I don't like, I don't like the other one. So, all right. So the rest of the bag fight in the chat canvas in it again i keep finding the ornaments already done though so there's a lot in, in here. my info to jody i will send your info to jody oh no she just said she sent it oh she sent it oh yeah thank you who do, <laughs> who's the hoe i might have to say if this doesn't sell i might have to save one of these as a name tag um so yeah, guys, this is this. These are a lot of canvas ornaments. So maybe people are like, "Don't you dare sell me any more ornaments, Renshaw! Don't you do it?" Because I don't see anybody in here yet for them, right? No. I mean, the name tag alone. I yeah, I don't think so. Anyone want it? Start. I want to start this at five. Anybody? Anybody want to start this at five? I or claim it. Christmas out right now, and they're going like, I buy those now, and I won't know where they are when Christmas comes again. I know <laughs> that's me anyway. I honestly thought the lot had more, um, more that needed to be finished than it okay, did. Okay, very merry finished one. ones. Five. Okay, I'll count it down then. I don't see her, I don't see it yet. There we go. So, um, I, Idaho, how many hoes? <laughs> there, I think there are four hoes in there. I think there are four hoes. So um, Mary okay. takes it. Hey, All right. Paula's so we'll already call called it, it. We'll call it for her. You got it. Very Mary, that's yours. Thank you guys. Okay. I wonder if she's going to wear the name tag. I don't <laughs> you know, it's getting real cold outside, right? We need something to do to stay in the oh, house. Oh, not where you are, liar. But it's going to be cold next week. Okay, that's what you yeah, say. It's gonna be like 20, 25, one more. Any of those round bells. Okay. What size did you want, Mike? I found a couple of sizes. Uh, let me show you. I have I have tiny ones, Mike. These are about uh, the size of a raisin. No oh my. And I have lots of colors. Oh, then yeah. I have some silver, red, green, and blue. I mean, red, green, silver, and gold. But I couldn't find that size. They are the size of a, a grape, a small grape. 
And then I found some of these big ones. Ooh, I like that. And I got quite a few of these. So let me know how many and which size, small, medium, large. Okay, so let me know what size you want. Oh, I was going to show something else, but since Gritty Grit is here, she sent me a message and asked me that I have any embroidery floss. Oh, okay. I did. I couldn't find all of it, but I did find some. So this is going to be a lot of embroidery floss. You get these two shades of purple, this light green, dark green, and yellow. And I wasn't going to charge you, Mike. Just let me know how many you want, small, medium, or large, and I can send them to you when I send your oh, pack. Oh, that's sweet. Then I have these here. They're all just twisted together, but, you know, they're not, like, knotted or anything. I'll take the little ones after everyone else gets what... The, okay, I'll put a few in your bag. Belinda, I'll put a few in your box. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, this color here, I found that one. I did not know that bells are the new, new balls. I did not know that. <laughs> then this strand here, which they're very easy to pick a loose. Okay. So all of this embroidery for So you still here, Gritty Grit? I'm hoping you are, because I did see you come in. Oh, let me write a note, Belinda, so I can put that note on there to include some bells. And I'm just looking through my postcards to make different lots of the ones that I just yeah. got. Okay. <laughs> what did I miss? Oh, where is it at? Oh, yeah. You want it? Okay. What about $3 for all of this? And it'll ship first class. Well, no, let's do let's do two dollars. We'll do two dollars. Yeah, I love. This. I think that's two dollars and put your name on it. Two dollars, gritty grit. I love that uh, Ariana just said, said we were saints, and I was like, how? Like what? 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 And then you're like, three dollars. You know what? Forget it. Two dollars. <laughs> okay. Well, gritty grit's getting this. I already put her name on it. For two dollars. Okay. Yep. So you got it. She sent me. You know, and I, I appreciate it when people send me. You know, they listen. She was listening on my video this morning. I know you were telling me that you loved that. Yeah. So yeah. So that's it. Okay. So now I'm going to show my real item that I was ready to show. You, you okay? go, girl. You but go. I noticed that you know she was here, so I wanted to show that. Okay. With the winter coming. You know, I saw yes, so right. this before. Right. This Start butterfly to us about, about you where know, you, how cold yes. you are. Last time I did a preview, she came for what she seen on the preview and she got it. Thank you. Uh, you get everything you need in there. You get the canvas. You get, I'm quite sure it's a neat latch hook in there. If not, I'll put one in there. Does it say one's in there? Tool not included, but I have a tool. So I'll stick a tool in there. I'll write myself a note. And your pillow is 12 by 12. But isn't that a cute butterfly? Yeah, it is. Is it purple? No, it's a blue. Two shades okay. of blue. Maybe three shades of blue. And I did just open it to make sure everything was in it. Here's your instructions. Here's your pre-printed canvas. And here is all of the pre-cut um thing of you know yarn these are the colors thing of my yarn and this here is letter v as in victor and it is eight dollars now it doesn't want to close back up so this is eight dollars for this kid here very nice how about seven how about five yeah people love to do that I would, it's real easy to do. It really is. <laughs> Stand Liz for that. Thank you, Liz. I'll put your name on it. I can see that about you, Steph. <clears throat> now I'm back over to Jody. Oh, hey, Pamela. You changed your, the way you write your name. 
Yeah, I noticed that the other day. I like it. That's fun. Okay, so I just tried to put together some lots. I have some kind of funky lots of paper ephemera. So, <laughs> Kathleen, I was trying. I was trying to figure out what elves you were talking about too before I said anything. Oh, Diane, she's in. Um, did you tell her North Carolina? I'm sorry yeah. if we haven't said where we shipped from. No, I'm Maine. She's North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just going to make this a big lot of postcards. You want silver, Mike wants silver ones. Okay. So get ready for it, my friends, because I'm going to throw together some stuff that might not even make sense. Okay. <laughs> so, like, it might not even make sense going together. But it's going to be good. It's going to be vintage. You're going to be happy. I feel like. I don't know what I done with them. Okay. Ooh, this will be nice. Y'all like this. I'm just going to make two funky lots. That's all. Okay. So here we go. One, two. There'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve postcards in this lot. On the table. And they're all early 1900s. Oh, no. They aren't all. This one, one of them's 1945, but I've got 1907, 1914, 1912. They're all over. Medium 15, if you got them, charge me something. 15. <laughs> hey, Connie. Life is too short to make sense, Gritty Grat. This lot's not going to make a whole lot of sense. And the next okay. one is going to make less sense. So we're here for it. Hey, Kari, we were talking about you. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. Miss Paula, can we start these at? Oh gosh, I said there were twelve of them. I'm trying to think of what I paid. I'm gonna start these at eighteen dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, she showed these before. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, she showed that before. So eighteen dollars uh, for twelve, twelve postcards. Eighteen dollars uh, starting price. So, okay, so the first one are dogs and this one is not written on these are hunting dogs <laughs> these are really fun i think you check items bless you baby bless you baby <laughs> <laughs> you check items to express your sentiments so like there's a checklist of things you can check off to write to the person and this is 1952 Having a very nice time. See you soon, Rose Esther. That's a cool name. So there's that one. Then this is a bunch of hydrangeas, 1912. Isn't that Great. gorgeous? Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I love hydrangeas are my favorite. This one is 1907, wasn't written on, but it says love to daddy. Oh, you know, that's pretty. Right? Mm-hmm. Cause tight. That's right, Kathleen. Um, this one, look at the writing is so gorgeous. 19 it's either 1914 or 1944, which is a big difference. <laughs> but here's the writing. It's so pretty. Westminster, Maryland. And these are like a just rows of trees. I think it's a road, dirt road. Mm-hmm. And then this one is Galvin's, Gal, oh gosh, my mouth isn't going to want to do this. Galveston, Texas. I don't know what kind of shrubbery that is. This one is not written on. Then we have Florida. This one has a hole in it and I don't understand why. Like maybe they used it in bunting, you know, mm -hmm. which some people use these for. This is 1928. Uh, the weather is here is fine, 80 degrees, lots of fruit, still have some. Spit it out, Jody. <laughs> I know, still have some check. Still have some check. Oh, jeez. When I was trying to say Galveston. Yeah. This one is Florida, and it is 1941. And it's from Virginia. This one is 19, oh gosh, 
1919, I think. This one is a cedar trees. These are birch trees of Maine, 1944. This is the busy person correspondence card. So this one has never been used and you check off like what you wanna say to the person so you don't actually have to write to them. You just check off what you want. And then the last but not least is this 1945 um, squirrel. Come on. That's a That's, squirrel? He looks yeah. fat. It's a fat squirrel, Miss Pat. Stop shaming the squirrel, Miss <laughs> Pat. Okay, so it says, oh, funny enough, dear Sharon and Pat, we saw your <laughs> we saw your grandmother today when we went through Roseburg. Harold, Harold Lee and Daddy have gone fishing. I will be home in about two weeks. Love, Anity Sims. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's right. Colin, Col all right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks I'll like a bear these, to me too, Steph. I'll count these down. Yeah, used it as a dark word. I'll count these down for Kathleen. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid and please. Um, I don't know if it's Oregon, Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it is, because it's postmarked Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, so that fat squirrel <laughs> hails from Oregon. Okay, so I have Miss Kathleen. So Kathleen gets the first lot that does not make sense um, for 18. Thank you. I'll show another lot that doesn't quite make sense. Um, but I'm going to bag these up for you right now, Miss Kathleen. Okay. And it's your turn, Miss Pat. And like we were saying, we got something for everyone. This is supposed to be a child's kit, but I really don't think that most kids wouldn't be able to do it effectively. It is a Z, uh, unicorn paint by number kit. Oh. And this is going to be an offer up starting at $7. That's but cool. the reason I'm saying it's probably not really for kids or an older child, even though it says six plus. Can you see how many pieces are in there? How many? Oh my things to paint? And this paint is, is still good. Is it Elizabeth De La Rosa or is it Chris? I think it's Chris that does paint by number, Chris, right? Yes, Chris. Uh huh. Yeah, Chris Rose. No, Rosa. I think this is just really pretty. That's it finished. And this paint has little glitter in it. So it's just I'm making noise. I'm sorry. Starting at seven. I love the colors. Um, and you got 10 different shades of paint. And I see Chris for that at seven. Oh, I thought so. But, Good job. But I mean, look, I mean, look at I think the design on that is so pretty. I actually bought this for my uh, granddaughter for Christmas, and then I decided that she'd get frustrated or I'd get frustrated because she's messing it up. <laughs> I'm just being You're like best not to fight then. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's, you know, I think it's a beautiful kid. So I would love to see this when it's finished. And even though I was bidding on Jody's paint by number the other day, I really don't know why, because I never end up doing paint by number. You said that too. Chris got it. Yeah. And you, and yeah. You I said, know. Yeah. Yeah. But I did start pull out my paints and stuff and I did do some watercolor. I've been making some, um, so much confidence. I've been uh, designing some paper dolls. They're really turning out nice, I think. That's bad <laughs> myself. Okay. I'll please. Paul is making it. fun of your confidence in your granddaughter. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I know how she is. Curtis was trying to teach, my husband was trying to teach her the other day about playing some golf. And she goes, no, Pop Pop, I know how to do this. I got it, okay? And she kept swinging <laughs> the club. Of course, she never hit the ball. So then she says, uh, here. <laughs> so we can go in and count this down. Yeah, I think they're going to be nice. I'm working on them, but it takes me a while because I like them to have lots of clothes and stuff. So oh, ten, yeah. yeah, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. So we got Chris at seven dollars. I think that's who it's gonna be. Yeah, I do too. I already wrote it down. Oh. Look at your <laughs> next. I'm trying to get my stuff together to have a doll sale. Thank you, Chris. But I, it's so much work. And then I had said I was going to do it Monday, but then Monday got here before I know it. I mean, even Every though today day. is only, you know, Thursday, but um, now it's kind of on hold. That was really my goal to was to have it Monday for real, the third. But now with my brother-in-law, I don't know what day I'm going to be going out of town. So mm -hmm. I'm going to hold off on it. I'm so glad I didn't make the video for it. Hmm. That's yeah, true. But, um, you know, I but I do have it. I'm just about there as far as getting the dolls organized. How many do you have? Do you have a whole bunch right now? Right now, I have like dolls. I oh my gosh! Some that I want to sell. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I'm gonna when I'm gonna have it. So I have a small lot. I'll just do one price for this one. Um, these are Victorian cards. So I'll, there are four of them. I haven't given them a letter yet, but I will in a minute. Um, this one's my favorite in the lot. It's called the Peacemaker. And you can see that the like one woman is trying to console or talk to the other woman while the gentleman looks on, sort of hoping that she'll change her mind. <laughs> I don't know about what, but um, the back is an advertisement for... Oh, it says the design on the other side of this card will give you an idea of one of our pictures. So it's it's for, this is so odd to me. It's about, the, so they sell pictures, okay, the advertising. But it says, with beautiful pictures given away free with 10 paper tags of the celebrated newsboy plug tobacco. Deliver your tags to any dealer who has a display of pictures in his window and on and on. I'm not really sure I understand the ad. Oh, those were, um, what's his name? Oh, I don't know, girl. Rusty Hustable or whatever his name is. Oh, right. He was talking about tobacco cards and stuff. Is that what these are? The long yes. ones? Yes. I thought they tobacco were... cards were little. I He showed a couple of kinds, I thought. This says copyright 1882. Yeah. So this is from 1882. Yes. Um, there's a little bit. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Yes. Yes. This, there's a little bit of um, soiling on the back. It doesn't go all the way through. It's just surface. Mm -hmm. So there's this one. You trade the cards and you get that. Yeah. Right. Okay. But I think this is an ad. No, I guess I'm not understanding it. I thought it was an ad given to tobacco dealers about what, like, including pictures in their... Read it again. Read that again. The design on the other side of this card will give you a, an idea of one of the pictures. There are many of them, size 17 by 25 inches. All, and I can't read that next word, all, wow. some, all beautiful, and it will not take long to get the whole set. The pictures are so handsome that they will adorn any home, rich or poor. Deliver your tags to any dealer who has a display of pictures in his window or by mail to the National Tobacco Works, and then it gives the address. And any they might actually get them and trade them in to get the law. Okay, that's what yeah. I think now. Yeah. Yeah, trading um, yeah, so you, right, you'd collect these and I guess then go to your tobacco dealer and turn them in mm -hmm. to get a 17 by 25 inch picture. Newsboy plug tobacco, yeah. So when you bought yes. your tobacco products, they would yes. be inside and then you would take them to the store. They were like trading stamps. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. learning a lot tonight. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's the only one in this lot is the one cigarette card. This one is an advertisement for pianos, Decker Brothers Pianos. Look at just the detail in that picture is amazing. So this is a square piece 
And the ad is on the back from New York for Decker Matchless Pianos. Then this one is a calling card with no oh, name on it. Card. Oh. So that has no name on it. And then this one is an advertisement for Niagara Starch. Okay, here's one. And it's about this big. Niagara, and it has no advertising on the back. So there are four pieces. And I was gonna um, six is six is the new eight, as I think Steph pointed out. So I was gonna say six dollars for the lot of four, and we'll do the letter P. I have no idea why I chose that. P. P for Patrick. We talked about cigarette cards. So if anybody wants those. It's just two and other cards of four, yeah. Oh, I see. Um, so I'm, I hate to say that I'm going to go with, um, I know that we intention is means a oh, lot. Oh, Margaret. But I'm thinking I, I have to. Margaret we still would go to Kathleen. It would be, well, I see Jennifer is the first one to put in P, P, but Kathleen put in six for the, for yeah, the. Yeah, then she um, back and corrected it. Right. So, um, oh, and then Mike and them are having a talk. So, um, I, if, if Jennifer is not going to be too upset, I'll go with Kathleen. Um, I know I know they both really like to collect this kind of stuff. So um, I'll call it for Kathleen and then hopefully make it up to Jennifer. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, Margaret's saying I always do. She said that's fine. Do that. Jennifer says it's fine. Okay. I yeah. do always do intention, but I was worried that it's not my channel. So I was like, oh, oh no, I do intentions too because I know okay. I'm yeah, but, you know, messing up stuff. Spelling okay. Stuff so wrong. I, and yeah, I feel like I'm just getting back into this. So I, <laughs> after I one week, I feel yeah, one week. My so, next is going. Thank to you, be, Jennifer. Uh, some books. Each one is three dollars, and you can just put down. I'll tell you what to put down on each one. There you I go. Started with this one. This is a book making moving toys. <laughs> And it's three dollars and just put the word toys if you would like that one so that's toys ah no problem okay the next one after toys is this one here rubber stamp creations dazzling projects showing you how to use rubber stamp this barcode up here is from my booth. So this one here is um, on this one. Just put the word stamps. And they're $3 each. Then the next one is making cards. Let me make sure this is what this is. Oh, yeah, this one's neat, too. You know why? Look, this one probably should really be more. But I'm going to show you why. Look, look at this. I didn't notice this until today. They tell you how to make them, but look. Oh, but also this is, they got the prettiest papers in it. I see Belinda for cards. Is that the first Oh, one? nice. Yeah, but look at this paper right here, Belinda. This way. <laughs> Belinda, since it's yours, let me show you. Oh, no, look, get. look at this pretty lacy paper. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I would okay, wear it. So I see Belinda for that one. And the last one for the person that bought all of those scrap fabrics from Jody. Oh, right. Look at this book, Making Fabric Bowls. Plus, thank you for saying that. So my son would like to buy one of your bowl, like your microwave bowls. Well, I mean, he wants me to buy it. But They're all $3. It doesn't make a difference. They were all the same price. I'm going to keep this one. No, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of it. Because <laughs> no. number one, 
Now this this right here is not just the real easy potato bowl ones or the soup bowl ones, the bowl cozies. Oh, I think <laughs> Diane's probably talking to me. I think oh. Diane's probably talking about what happened before. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because there's a blag. Mike's only now just talking about the tobacco okay. cards. And then I see yeah. Liz for the bowls. Yeah, so I need to buy one of those microwave fabric bowls from you if you have any. I don't have any, but they're so easy. And I see Mike for P. I don't know what P is. I think it's my tobacco cards. Oh, oh, okay. So uh, let me tell him to refresh. He is very far behind. Okay. And then we have a new bot. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is a nice book here. But on your other bowls, they are so easy. You just take um, a square of fabric and you take two squares of fabric and you take a square of a cotton. Make sure it's all cotton uh, batting. Put them together. Or you don't have to put them together. This is the easiest way. And then you just tuck up each one of these corners, make a dot. I mean, a, a dart. Right. right. And then what happens is then take your binding and put your binding around the edge and you're finished. Uh, right, right, right. That's the easiest way. But anyway. Do you uh, hand sew your binding? I, I don't have a problem. If you want the unicorn paint by number. Uh, they're discussing it. who's getting the paint by number. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, just y'all let me know what y'all work out. But I have Belinda for the cards and Liz for the other one. Okay. So back over to Jody. All right. I think this will be, well, unless people are like postcards, postcards. I think this will be my last slot. I have lots. Yes, Jody sews. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love to sew. And so our next show, hopefully I'll have some hand sewn items. Cause that, I mean, we love to sell um, and share craft I items for you all to craft with, but we also like to share what we have made and I just haven't made anything lately. So just, um, just the photography and journals. For v. So if you want Easter, Christmas, I'm trying to save the Valentine's postcards for I'm having a show with um, the V was um, gunky junk. Yes, it sold. V sold already. Sorry, Mike wants. I think to yeah, it. I think there's a lag. Yeah. So this one is from Mike here. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven postcards. We'll start. We'll start this lot. Um, we'll start this one at. What was the last one? We'll start this one at $12. So that's less than two a postcard. So mm -hmm. these this is kind of a funny lot. Gritty, gritty. It was talked about life. Life can be full of funky, whatever. This is it right here. This is a funky lot. So we've got these dolls. Mm -hmm. This postcard on at the antique store alone had a $6 price tag. I don't know if anybody paid that, but um yeah it's like kind of like my toy photography but vintage dolls i mean it's a vintage card i don't think it has a date on it no nope. printed in great britain in great britain i didn't even do that right and then this oops i didn't want to do it this way okay this one i just love the gorgeousness of the art that they're standing in front of and look, this look is back. That dude, <laughs> the vintage card, but that dude's look is back. So yeah, this is gorgeous. So this postcard doesn't have a date on it either. This is the Silver Queen in Virginia City, Nevada. Okay, oh, Annie Christie's back. It looks like it's a mosaic, yeah. And um, the lady looks like she's darker skinned, but I can't totally tell. I'm trying, I was trying to find her name, but it talks more about Nevada than it does um, anything about the art piece. So then 
<laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm a little off my game, apparently. But this one is uh, Bunny and Willie at Miami's famous Parrot Jungle. Not written on. And then this one is, I think, also the Parrot Jungle. I didn't even know there was such a place. Oh, the, yeah, the Parrot Jungle, Red Road, Miami, Florida. I don't know if that still exists or not. Not written on. This one is written on and postmarked 1941 from Florida. Uh, hello, Pete. How are you? Fine, I hope. Thought I'd thought I'd drop you a line and let you know how everything is getting along. It's dandy down here, except that it's very cold at night. Oh, stop it. It's Florida. Uh, I can't write much more, but I'll send you a letter. Look, and they're sending it back home to Manchester, New Hampshire. Please. It's not cold there in Florida if you're from Manchester, New Hampshire. And then, uh, call, yeah, it's the parrot jungle as well. And look at the little babies. Little baby parrots, you guys. Mm. Little baby macaws. Okay, these last two are really what I think is going to sell this lot. Because I think Belinda bought one of these from me alone. She paid more than that, I feel like. Because um, it's a card you don't see very often. But this... I'll show it last, but this one is I'll be doggone glad to see you. This is not written on as well from Made in USA from the 50s. <laughs> Maybe people are postcarded out, Miss Paula. And then this last one. If you listen to me, kid, you'll wear diamonds. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's Belinda who has this one. I sold it by itself because I, I couldn't believe I found it. And then I found another one. Hmm. So Miss Belinda seeing me put this in a lot for probably less than what she paid. I'm sorry, Miss Belinda. I'm sorry. Oh, it's still a thing. It's called Jungle Island. That's really cool. Florida gets frost. I don't even want to hear it, Auntie Christy. I don't want to hear it right now when it's 23 degrees here. So yeah, this lot doesn't make a whole lot of sense together. It's got dolls. It's got art. It's got parrots. It's got dogs. So, oh, I'm so glad, Belinda. So I don't see anybody for these. So I'll, oh, I see Mike now. Okay, good. Thank you, Mike. So I'll go ahead and start to count these down. So 10. Not, you can still put in a bid. It's up to you. I just need to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end, please, Miss Paula. Ooh. Oh, Miss Lois knows. And I think Mike knows, too, because he. These, yep, right before the bid ends. Yeah, because these oh, so are she's in Belinda. Okay, no. No, she's yeah. telling Belinda. Yeah, Belinda, bid, but yeah. no, so Belinda's got a lot of postcards from me right now. So, so. it looks like Miss Lois came in and sniped it away. <laughs> well, or, I, I mean, it's bad Lois, bad Lois. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike knew they had resale value. Am I right, Mike? Mm -hmm. Um, which doesn't offend me in any way, but um. Congratulations. Yes. That was a good one. Yeah. Nice, Lois. Thank you. I will bag those up for you. Um, okay. That was my item. Oh. Thank you. Okay. My next item is going to be some books, which is so funny because when I was pulling out things today, I found this book and this receipt was still in it from when I bought this book. I oh, my goodness. I date. Oh, you collect paper, Mike. Okay, got gotcha, July the 13th, which was Curtis's birthday of 2012. 2012. Oh, my gosh. What and were you doing you know, shopping on his birthday? You know, he was probably at work. Receipts or maybe you were shopping for him. These days, yeah, receipts fade these days, but this receipt, I can still read the whole thing, everything I bought, which is weird. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be another lot of books. 
And I'll start with the first one. These books, your choice, $3. So as I'm going through, if you see one you want, go on and claim it. Just put like put something that helps us yeah. know your intention. This is uh, yeah. Dolls. It's Four Season Dolls. <laughs> Those are so 80s. Yes. <laughs> but they're cute. And they got dolls for every season. And these dolls, I believe, it look like they're made out of some type of pantyhose or a knit or something. <laughs> I think they might even be made out of socks. Yeah, they're made out of knee-high socks. No way. Yeah, and they're pretty easy when they're socks. I see Mike for that one, but look, you take your sock, show you how to cut it. Oh, cool. And so I see Mike for that one. <laughs> Edward, I don't want to hear about your frost, Edward. <laughs> then I have this plastic canvas dollhouse book, and on this one, just put dollhouse. Oh my get, gosh. Look, you even get a little car. Look, look at their car. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love this. So, and this book is very, what year? 1980. You, and and you got, um, oh, uh, Chris wants to know if you saw Mike for the toys book the last round. Yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. Thank you. And Mike wants that one too. Which one? Oh, the dog oh, you're yeah. holding. But yeah. plastic canvas is real easy. Just lay it down, trace around this with a black marker, cut on that line, and then start filling it in. Oh, so that's the actual template right there. Yeah, so you get the template right in there. Wow. Okay, Mike. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay. The next one is <laughs> mini dolls. <laughs> These are made out of like those little uh, clothespins. Oh, like I made things. those one time. They're wicked cute. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're real cute made up. Well, actually, these ones just made out of a peg. Oh, the clothespin? These not even made out of a clothespin. It looks like it's just a peg glued to a heart. <laughs> so you could go buy a bunch of dial. Um, okay, I see Kathleen for this one. You could go and just buy a dial rod and just cut them in pieces. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. And then they took a heart and cut a heart. Well, they took a heart and that's what they glued it to the base to make them stand up. So this would be a lot less expensive than clothespin one. I have you down for that, Kathleen. I, okay. I was laughing at Ariana because she said it was 77 degrees in her house yesterday. So I assumed like meaning like that's what she keeps her house at. So I was laughing because like it's, it's. No, it probably was a temperature. It got to 76 here yesterday and Atlanta is usually a little bit warmer than us. Okay. But her mom is saying it's going to be 21 in her house Saturday morning. That's what you guys are going to have. Saturday? I don't think it's supposed to be quite that cold Saturday. I know by Monday or Tuesday you're supposed to get in the 20s. Oh, wow. And I was hoping that uh, Nancy Smith is here. She's always asking me for painting books. Here's some angel oh. twigs. And it has, like, you would just um, trace. I don't know why this piece of wallpaper was in here. Hey, Catherine Young. 80 degrees in Louisiana. Yeah, it's been so warm. You would take some uh, carbon paper, lay that on top of your canvas, and just trace around it, and then paint it. Oh, and like, is that toll painting or no? Well, this one's not necessarily toll painting, but okay. it's very similar. Toll painting. Okay, I see Mike for that one. Yep, you I want see Mike. A little fish. Let me put that in there, Mike. And my last one is this plastic canvas book here. It's banners for all seasons. Oh, yeah, I saw that in your preview. Yeah, so it's banners for all seasons. And this is the actual size. <laughs> Again, you lay your plastic canvas on there. And then it tells you how many stitches. And you can see, like, to do love, that's not like a lot of stitches. That's like, right. a, you go, you know, just count. Now, is this is this just... Is it just a straight stitch? I should be looking at the stuff I have. Or is some like of them are and some of them aren't. It okay. Show you when to, like, see these red stitches? These stitches, they're going horizontal, like, see? Oh, yeah, but it's not cross stitch. Oh, no, it's not cross stitch. It's one way. Right, okay. it's one way or the other generally. 
So, so you can have a banner year. Yes, that's <laughs> right. I saw that. I was waiting for you to see it. You can have a banner uh, so year. Back over to you. I took a long time. I know. Oh no, you're fine. I think I'm going to show a, an unfinished quilt. I'm going to show a quilt top, guys, for all of you who might want to finish it. And it's a Valentine's Day quilt top. So it is very timely. I'm going to stand up even though my dress doesn't match my leggings. I'm not even going to worry about that because we're all friends here. And I need to make sure this, there we go. That had a straggler. Okay. So. I believe this to fit a twin bed. I mean, yeah, I could put this on the bed behind me, which is a twin, and it would definitely cover it. But you may want to put a border around it. I know I would. So I bought this. I did not make this. So it's hearts and keys. Did I get the angel book? And I'm going to start this at $10. Oh, no, my God. For a whole quilt top. And I'll show you. I mean, it's very, very clean, very well stitched, ready to be sandwiched together and put on your bed. Um, I'll keep showing, I'll lift up and show more of it. So all black, white, and red with keys and hearts, hearts galore. Yeah, I like the keys too, Annie Christie. It's the key to your heart. So, oh, Becky, I didn't know you were interested in quilt tops. There's a lot I learned about Becky. And this smells good too. Like they use really good fabric softener. So I bought this thinking I would finish it, but I have other things to finish and it's not going to be this. No. Not this, not this time around. I think it was um, Katie uh, who bought me a quilt top and sent it to me in the mail and I'm desperate to finish that one and a couple other ones. So um, yeah, this is about twin size and it wouldn't be hard to match um, or find similar fabric if you wanted to do a border around the whole thing, which is definitely what I would do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to come in and snipe again. I am going to fold it up and so you can watch me fold it and see how big it is. You can also see that my chest is quite large. <laughs> while we're there. <laughs> Valentine's Day is your birthday, Valerie. My husband's birthday is the day after. That's great. It does. It's very crisp, Dolores. It really is. It's very, very crisp. And it. I can tell it's not newer fabrics. Like, I'm not going to call it vintage, but it's, th these are definitely not newer fabrics. Um, just because I tend to buy a lot of fabric and I feel like I can tell, but, um, okay. So I'll start to count it down. Um, happy early birthday, Valerie. <laughs> um, okay. So I'll start to count it down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. And I'll bid your own self. So we're good. Five, four, three, two, one bid and please. Okay, so we have Valerie because she outbid it herself. I saw it? that, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'll let Paula call it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, Margaret, I have some pretty pieces that I haven't finished yet either up in the attic. So I know how it could happen, but I don't know how they would part with it without finishing it but edward it is nice fabric for sure the whole piece is just really well done valerie yes Paul, okay Paul. so thank you so much you guys and i will look for more of those or maybe i'll sell you guys the ones i don't end up finishing but um that i don't have valerie's information so if you could send it to this email honey that would be great 
So thank you so much, everyone. Okay. With all this nonsense about snow, here is a stitch kit for snow wall hanging. All this nonsense. So if you're in an area that you just got to see snow, if you're in Georgia or something like that, North Carolina, you want to see some snow, <laughs> <laughs> you get everything. This is new seal in the pack. And this is by Abusella. I guess that's how you say it. This finished thing is 10 inches wide and almost three feet long, 34 inches. And it's snow and it has nice little rind snow. Oh, that's big. That's going to turn Sequins. out big. And look at those pretty um, little seed beads in there that make the little snow drops and stuff. Oh, yeah. And this would be letter X. And this kit here is $10 for the snow kit. Snow, $10. Yeah, oh, this is very nice. And I mean, everything you need is in there. Embroidery floss. You got your little beads. One-stop shopping. Yeah. Letter X, yes. This is pretty. Lots of work, but pretty. But just in case you're someplace that you uh, see gritty grit for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I'll do like Miss Pat did and I'll show some books, but my books are kind of all over the place in terms of price. I thought I maybe could show all the same, but all right. Let's see if I can. You know what? I can. So I'll do like Miss Pat did and this lot, um, each of these will be $3. And you would just type in whatever makes me know that that's the book you want. <laughs> so oh, you know what? I got to show that. Oh, wait a minute. I picked the wrong book. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this first one is one that I have a lot of my students buy. It is probably the most popular photography book. Um, Brian Peterson, if you want to check him out on YouTube. I definitely would if you're into photography. Um, this one I paid $25.99 for, you can see. But it is still like this book never ages. This, I mean, he does updates and stuff, but this is an incredible book. So this is $3, understanding, um, exposure. It's He just, I love the way he gives tips on how to do things. And honestly, if you follow him or read this, and maybe take a class or two, hint, hint. I might be giving some. Um, you can make images just like this, honest mm -hmm. to goodness. Hey, Krista. So, oh, hey, girl. How are you? Okay, I see Jennifer for exposure, if I'm right. Yes, I see Jennifer first. And Jennifer, if, um, uh, and Annie Christy, um, uh, if I give classes, you will definitely want to um, look at that book. It's because it, he teaches very similarly, I feel like, to the way I teach. So um, the we next can, one is also I, $3. Sorry, ooh, nachos do sound good. <laughs> and this is Herbs and Medicinal Plants in Cross Stitch. So if you cross stitch... These, these kind of remind me of like medieval um, paintings. Just, I don't know, what am I thinking of? But it shows you the, pic the picture on the right and then the pattern on the left. You see so that art want glasses? Oh, okay, Dolores says cross. And so, Lois said she cook classes would be good. You should. Yeah, that. Lois. I um, maybe Lois hasn't heard, and that's okay. And maybe a lot of people haven't heard. But I found out that um, enrollment is down at my school, and so I won't be able to teach a lot of the classes. I'm a professor at the local college, and so first they told me I wasn't teaching any at all, 
now they're saying I'm teaching one, but I'm not even sure that's accurate. So um, I really think I need to start bringing it to online and um, just kind of going my own way because this school keeps making me a little worried about my job constantly. <laughs> and teaching one class is not going to pay my bills. So I don't, I'm not sure what they're doing with me right now. So, all right, one more book to show in this round. So sorry. Um, oh, thank you, Belinda. So this one, I love these. So I already have it. I think it is time, Paula. I think the universe is telling me that. Thank you very much. Um, so Sewing for Your Home. I love these old Better Homes and Gardens <laughs> sewing books. Like, I get that they're dated in terms of maybe colors and stuff like that. But they are not dated whatsoever um, in terms of teaching you how to make these things. So how to make window curtains. Um, but some of the fabrics in here, oh my gosh, I wish I could get my hands okay, on Okay, I see Belinda for that. Oh, okay. I don't know that anybody does this anymore, though. But, you know, bring it back. Bring it back, Belinda. I feel like I have to show everybody one more thing in here, though. Because, like... Oh my God, look how sweet that is. <laughs> that and looks a lot like your area. I Yeah, I kind of like that bohemian yeah. throw a lot of color together thing. And Belinda, I have two more books that I have to send you that I couldn't fit in your box last time. So they're still here and I'll now I can send them off to you. And that is those are mine. Thank okay. you so much, everybody. My next item is an offer up and it'll be starting at $10. It is this, the box is open, but it is new. Let me turn it upside, turn it upright. It's universe. Get it? Universe. It's uh, a growing jewelry kit. That's punny. Yeah. And in this kit, you get enough to make, where did I see that at? Um, you get the powders and all that stuff. You get enough to make four necklaces, uh, three hair clips, and a ring. You get the eyedroppers, you get the colors, the dyes, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and this wow. is starting at $10. And it's just a really nice kit. You get all your little jewelry and stuff. I mean, things. you may want to upgrade some of the actual chains and stuff, but the actual jewelry pieces are very nice. And this is ages eight and plus eight and up. I'll take this out for you to see. And this is a newer kit. I mean, I just bought that this year. So you can see your powders, your chains, and all the other stuff you get with it. And um, what else? And the instruction book is here. And this is for like kids. I they say eight and up but after reading all the instructions and everything and have worked with kids unless you got an exceptional eight-year-old i really would say 10 or an adult because you are mixing up these little chemicals like together oh right you right. know so i really would suggest a little older but it is a very nice kid If Miss Pat can get it back, right? Oh, there you go. You got it. There you go. So, but it's a very nice kit and um, makes a lot of nice pieces of jewelry. You'd be at less than two dollars a piece to make the jewelry. So you know, with shutting down for the night, have a safe. Thank you, Krista. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Oh, so we'll just pass, honey. We'll pass on that one and we'll keep it moving. Okay. Oh, I see Lois. Oh, I see Lois for it. Yeah. Okay. How many, uh, Miss Pat, how many more items do you have? Well, I said I was going to go to Z, so one more. But I mean, I got more, but I said I'd go to Z. <laughs> okay. Well, because I have three more. Okay, I'll do three more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have to twist your arm very hard. Um. 
Oh, I measured this once already too. Oh, I think you need to put me on, girl. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that little thing. That little thing. So I measured this once and wrote it down and then I didn't have it in the sale that I was going to have. And so I'm gonna try to like, I believe it's three yards. But it's three yards by, oh my gosh. This is this is an odd piece of fabric. This is a lot of fabric, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, uh-oh, what did I miss? I don't know what book is talking about. Pooping ground. Who's got a pooping ground? So this is pineapple fabric. Obviously directional. There we go. Wait, <laughs> wrong direction. This way. There we go. Pineapples. Okay, so it looks like the fabric might have been it's a good alien for stitched all together to like. You know what though, Miss Pat? Now that I'm looking at it through the light, I feel like I see some spots that are soiled, but they're not. I think the light's playing tricks on me. I don't know. This is this is a whole bunch of pineapple fabric. So I believe it's about three yards. So what I'm gonna do, just in case that that those are a couple of soil marks, which I don't think they are, because they don't go all the way through, but the light no. seems to be playing tricks on me. Is I'm gonna say six dollars letter p for all of this pineapple fabric it does say who made it in the selvage it's bicentennial it looks very vintage looking it is i bought it during my trip to pennsylvania too on my thrifting trip mm -hmm. and um i grabbed it because it is it was definitely vintage and I thought somebody might like like the colonial mm -hmm. look. I mean, you can do other things with it, but it's a nice weight, a very nice weight. I feel like somebody may have, oh, yep, that is a soil mark. Okay, Valerie. So Valerie, if you're okay with cutting out a soil mark or two. Yeah, I mean, is, that price, that's a great deal. Well, it's a lot of fabric, yes. too. It's like three yards by three I yards. would say three and a half yards at it's least. It's upholstery. <laughs> well, it's upholstery length, too. Mm -hmm. So it is just by. Yeah. really long. Um, there's a lot of it here. Like, I feel like this was bigger than the quilt top. So there's a lot to use here, for sure. So... um. Yeah, Miss Valerie, this he is says yours, no problem. Oh, great. Awesome. Perfect. So I said six dollars. Am I right? Is that what I said? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's yours, sweetheart. Thank you so that's, much. That's the policy you said. So yes. Okay. <laughs> Paula knows all. I don't mess with Paula. Okay, so my next item is this cute little monkey, sock monkey kit. And it's everything you need to make both of these little. Oh, I love this. So you get your little brown sock. You get your, I think it even has the polyfill in it. I opened this one time. Let me see if I can get I it. I love open. curiosity kits. They do a really good job. They that, do. Yeah. Yes. So you can see everything you need is packed right in there very neatly. I'm not going to like pull it apart because I don't want to not be able to close it. But you even get the thread. You got your polyfill up under there, your instructions, everything you need. And this little kit is letter Z and it's $8. Letter Z and it's $8. I love that you go A to Z so you know how many how many pieces you have. <laughs> Well, actually, it's I'm just like that because the books had a lot of different items on the book. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So this is Z, and it makes this little monkey, two of them, and it said it takes two hours. 
I don't know, uh, Miss Pat. For one thing, it would take two hours is five minutes for you. <laughs> and like six hours for me. So I probably would sew this on the machine, honestly. But um needle for quick stitching. I guess they got the yeah, oh, they got the needle. Everything is in there. <laughs> Cute little sock monkey kit. Everything you need to make these. How cool is this? Even the thread, letter Z, eight dollars. Yes. That's Paula selling it for you. Yeah, very cute. Okie dokie. So we'll pass on that in Z for me. Oh, Paula. Okay. Oh, Miss Paula, you go, girl. Okay, let's move. She this waited back. too. She's she waited for somebody else. But she doesn't have any lag. Uh, I mean, no, wait. I I can't bid because then I have. Do you? I, no, you did not need a sewing machine for that. But she doesn't have lag. I mean, she has lag. I'm sorry. I said all of that wrong. Okay, so this. This is very vintage fabric. And. You remember when, Miss Pat, you might remember when you went and bought fabric, they would just put a pin yes. in the, the paper and uh -huh. they'd say, yeah, like how many yards it was. And so this says two and a third yards by 44 inches, new pre-shrunk. So, um, yeah. and clearly has never been used. So if it says pre-shrunk on it, that's probably like 1970s fabric. Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense for the coloring, too. Yeah. So, so two, you know, before that, you had to wash your fabric to pre-shrink it before you made something out of it. Two and one-third. Did I say that right? Okay. So, so yeah, this, I just think this is such cool coloring from the 70s, for sure. But I won't even unwrap it, because it says it's two and a third yards and it's never been cut through and I believe them. So if you're interested in this, we're going to do um, a Y for yellow and we're going to say $8 for this one. $8 That's for the two. Nice with the pineapple fabric actually. Well, I don't know if it, let me see. I, it's two different yellows. Oh yeah, it is two different yellows. Yeah. yeah. And not the kind of two different that you could really put together, I don't feel like. So, oh, we got a Sabrina that we timed out, eh? Yeah. Sabrina, what are you doing? So, um, so Paula put it in, so I'll wait a second. I'll wait a second and see if anybody wants it. And then I'll have... I see well, Jim Miller. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jennifer? I don't see yes. it yet. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jennifer. It's really, really pretty. It's even nicer in person, I think. Did I tell y'all I got faster internet? They finally put fiber in my neighborhood, and I got it last week. Oh, nice. I haven't noticed a big difference. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to do a live out. You day. should. I mean... My yeah. husband noticed. My husband claimed he noticed a big difference. But. Yeah. Well, it depends on what you're using it for. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, you know, when I go out in the building, out in my studio, it'll tell the real story. I have a thing for Paisley. <laughs> I love Paisley, too. I'm starting to really look at Paisley dresses lately. Oh, yes. I, okay. Miss Paula says she can tell it's faster. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The next thing is a handcrafted card kit. It's quilt a card, and this makes oh, four yes. cards. They're note cards. It includes um, your envelope, everything you need, all the supplies, okay, and additional supplies required. What's required? It doesn't tell me what else is required. Uh, finished a card. I, I don't know what else is required. <laughs> Kit includes die cut cards, matching envelopes, complete instructions and suggestions. See back for a complete listing of package contents and additional supplies required. Let me see. It's never been opened. Maybe it has been opened. Let me see. Hold on. Nope. It's never been opened, so I don't know what else you need. <laughs> 
Um, a sewing machine is not required for the snow wall hanging. No, it's not. No. No. In fact, that might even be harder to do with a sewing machine. Yes, it would. It would. Yeah. Anyway, in this kit, I'm not sure what's in it. It has not been opened. Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. Got it. Let's see. Maybe somebody, or maybe I had opened it before. But it's a pretty folk art looking. I'm struggling here. Still struggling. Oh no. <laughs> you got this. I promise. There we go, the envelopes. Some more. And why did it give you eight envelopes? Because I thought it, I don't know how many cards it make then. Oh, I guess it make eight cards. Oh, here is this is turned around backwards. You need to get your own fabric. Oh yeah, that I would I would have thought. Yeah, and different little accessories if you want. This was put out in 2002. I don't know why they call it a quilt of thing, but basically, I do see what you do now that I took it out. You pop this heart out and lay a strip of fabric behind it, okay? Then you right. fold in one of these here, and that hides the back of your card, You the back of that piece of fabric. And then oh, you fold yeah. this around and that makes your card. And then okay. it looks like this. And then it says the card was created especially for you by, and you can write your name. But this, you can use that as a template to make a bunch of other cards. Right. Got and it. you get the heart shape, you get the birdhouse, you get a star and a Christmas tree with a heart. So this kit, Retail for nine, uh, twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. How about four dollars? Four dollars letter. How about four dollars, guys? Letter A A. Get your own fabric, says Paula. Get oh, your yeah. own fabric. <laughs> yeah, so you need your own fabric, but you know, all you need is a piece of fabric, uh, three by three, three by four, and I see Belinda. Oh, that's Z. Oh well, you did say Z. Oh A A. Okay, so. I see. I guess Belinda, we need to give it to Belinda. Yeah, because um, I see, I understand her confusion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Belinda. Okay, but I mean, it's, it's a nice little kid, I think. I hope you're okay with that, Lois. I understand, yeah, intent, and we, I, I understand, I thought it was Z as well, which is weird. So Yeah, Z was the monkey. Right, and I don't know why I thought you were using the number again. Oh, um, Belinda says to let Lois have it. Oh, okay, okay, sure will. If, okay, thank you, Belinda. Okay, so my last item, I have hemmed and hemmed and hawed over selling this lot um, because I love it, but I don't need it. But I love it. So, um, some of you might have seen me oh gosh it was in the very beginning of my youtube career that i purchased these so this is a whole lot of hand sewn um like hanging pillows i don't know if you would spray them with scent or something like that but they are just so stinking cute i could die this one says harmony and it's got the earth and they all have this, um, it's like a thicker muslin, right, Miss Pat? Wouldn't you say that's linen or muslin? It's Osberg cloth, probably. Whoa, you fancy. You, fancy. Oh, you what... could make a mobile. You could make a mobile out of these. You could do some things, Aunty Christie. And that's why I'm like, oh, like I kind of want to do something, but I, I can't. I have other things to do. So there are 11 of them. So here's Hope. I'm just going to, unless people want me to do an offer up, I was just going to sell all the lot of 11 for one money. Um, this one is Christmassy, so it's Noel. Hmm. Yeah, add essential oils and put everywhere. You're absolutely right. You could do a lot of things with these, um, but they're all hand sewn. Here's another piece one. 
but mm. done differently than the previous one. And oh, this one, I just want to bite it. Sparkle. Mm -hmm. They oh make nice God. ornaments too. Yeah, definitely. Like, but also for like the or like Earth Day or mm -hmm. or year round for the Earth. I know in your bar off of your mirror. Oh yeah, play. that too. That, and when the sun hit them, they would smell really nice. This one says respect, and it's like an apple for the teacher type thing. I, they have little like we in French. Well, in Canadian French, we say minus, like little pieces of thread. We call them minus, but. Um, so Chris is saying they're little pillows. Does any, do you guys want an, an offer up or mini pin cushions? Uh, no, I don't have any more advertising or tobacco cards, Mike. Not tonight. Anyway, I will in the future. So this is another one. Wish. Okay. So, well, Chris doesn't know how much they are yet. I hope she's still, <laughs> cause so there are, I was, I was going to say $20 for them. So if you want, Chris, Chris keeps writing in pillows. Chris, if you want these, they put in the number 20. Um, there are, <laughs> Chris, there are, there are 11 of them. All is calm. <laughs> She's like, fine. Okay, I won't even show the rest. It'll be a mystery to you, Miss Chris. <laughs> um, that's so funny. What did you Whoa, see? What did you pillow, pillow, pillow. <laughs> pillow, pillows, pillows, 20. Pillows, pillows, pillows. Oh. I did, Paul. I gave them to Chris. Um, I hope you love them as much as I do because I did not. I had the hardest time wanting to part with those. Paul is that good? Give them to Chris. <laughs> I know. Goodness, my God. Oh. Hey, Belinda's Chris, like, do you want the pillows? Just guessing. <laughs> I thought at first she was telling me that they were little pillows. Um, now, Kathleen is saying that she wants Mike to have her cards. Mike, if um, the Kathleen, first of all, that's very, very sweet. Um, uh, Mike, do you want them? She loves them, Paula. For sure, she loves them. <laughs> yeah, what were you thinking, Warren? That's right, Jennifer Miller said. Oh, um, after Chris is like, pillows, 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 20, 20. And then Warren's like 20. <laughs> so let me know. Um, let me know if, let's see, who are we? And Warren, I love you. I hope you're not mad that I'm teasing on you. Um, Mike, let me know if you want the, the cards that Kathleen purchased. I think Kathleen paid $6. So, um, okay. Okay, so thank you, Kathleen. Mike says he will take them. So, um, I and I know Kathleen has the other set, the other postcard lot. So, I will look for more of those guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. <now. laughs> oh, good. I oh, last I item. You know I love you, Warren. <laughs> My last item is with New Year's coming. If you're really fast, you can knit this wine bottle cozy oh so everything oh, is in no. there i don't feel any knitting needles but i if they're not in here i will i do have a pair here that i was going to include but i'm going to go look for some short ones but in here you get you oh plus they say it's a dvd in there like I, a dvd oh, to learn from i guess they say it's a DVD in there, plus it's easy and follow instructions. You got some yarn, you got some uh, bamboo needles, you got a tapestry needle, and a reusable storage tin. I don't believe all that's in there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe the storage tin is in there, but well, I think it. I think that's what what the hard thing is that I feel. Oh, okay. But I, oh, wanna... and I will say I'll show. Oh, I see. Okay, they talking about they 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 consider this I guess as a reusable storage tin. See this thing here, the 
the packaging itself yeah it's a hard you know oh and, yeah and then you got this little top thing here oh there's the cd oh yeah yeah so i guess this squashes out and fit down into there but this is so old it's brittle so it would uh, and then you got that you have all of your yarn you have the tap like nice and too. the instructions so you have all of that in there. So everything is in there. <laughs> Storage pin for the top. Except for the needles, but I do have, like I say, I have <laughs> bunches of knitting needles. So I will include two knitting needles. And this would be letter BB, and it's $8. <laughs> BB, $8. <laughs> and so that's for the wine <laughs> bottle thingamajiggy, $8. Yeah. And I... If you don't mind, Miss Pat, I'll show. Um, oh, I don't mind. For, for the people who weren't here in the very beginning, the uh -huh. uh, the ones I have left. Okay. Of, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Oh, I see Lois for it. I would say just in case somebody was in doubt, it says beginner. Oh yeah, beginner one. So this everything is there, and I will include some knitting needles because I don't know why they weren't in there. They probably poked a hole through the bag and came out so okay. i will include some knitting needles does it say what size knitting. like would you would you know what size they would need to be well the, the problem needle. is if i stick some in there let me see if it tell you uh, i will do this take all this time i'll be doing this oh okay yeah Sorry. i'm just gonna show the four um of the canvas okay kits that I had left. Um, and let me check what I was charging for these so I don't say the wrong thing. Okay. So yeah, these are the canvas kits that I have left that were $6. That's right. You get you get what Miss Pat gives you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lois isn't asking for it. Oh, it's a like, seven millimeter. So yeah, it does tell me what size. Okay, good. Good. And actually, and look, hi, this, hi, Debbie. believe it, honestly, I must have read that before because these are a B. This is a seven millimeter right here. I mean, what is, what's the chances? I must have read that. Oh, somewhere. wow. I trust that. <laughs> Your daughter would be mortified. Um, okay, so <laughs> these are the ones that I have left. Do not do not feel obligated to purchase them. I just wanted for the people who came in, uh, these were the ones that were passed on. So, um, these are six dollars for these canvas kits that come with everything including the needle these are um new old stock um yeah plastic canvas kit so if you're interested in this one victorian angel you would just write angel or something like that then the country church coasters oh and you can see this needle that needle is right at the bottom there. So yeah, there are no holes in this that anything could get out of. So so the Country Church Coasters, the Little Wigglers, which is Miss Pat's me. They wiggle. Did you see um, Lois for Angel? Oh, not yet. Lois, Lois bought the other, two other ones. She's like, okay, fine. You got me with the Angel. I'll take the Angel. Um, and Debbie, I want you to know I've been thinking about you, girl. And then the snowflake one, which is the snowflake tree topper and then other snowflakes. So that I'll put Lois down for the angel. And then that is the end of my show. That's the end of my show, Miss I seem like I had something that didn't sell. I had a book. I don't know. What I, mean. I don't know either because I feel like the lag. Like sometimes I thought we were passing on something, and then the lag would. Yeah, um, the rubber stamp book. I don't have anybody's name by that. Oh, okay. But I call myself having two piles, but I don't know. What oh, Lois is also taking the snowflake. Lois is going to be doing a lot of canvas stuff. Yeah. A lot of canvas stuff. No, nope. I don't. I don't know. Oh, Dolores, I'm glad. Dolores, we do this every week. 
uh, sometimes on my channel, sometimes on Miss Pat's. And, um, oh, Debbie, I'm sorry. This is what I was thinking about. Yay, hey, hey. This is what I was thinking about her for. I didn't want to say it, but I knew I knew they were having some rough times. So um, that's awesome. I'm so glad, Debbie. We've really been thinking about you. Your sister's been keeping me and Christina um, posted. So now awesome. is Debbie getting a new baby for Christmas? Debbie, a new baby grandchild? Yeah, somebody was. I don't know. I forgot who it was that told me that. I'm so glad, though. That's good news. Yes, it is, Lois. Yes, congratulations. Absolutely. And I hope that See, I'll, this I'll was a perfect way of ending. Yeah, mm -hmm. please subscribe to our channels if you have. So wasn't that great news to end 2021? Yes, so actually, that was happy. Debbie came right. No, baby. Appreciate Debbie your came right yeah. in on time. Yeah, yeah, please come back, Mr. Loris. I've seen you during the day, but this is the first time I've seen you come in the evening. So thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks to everybody. And um, hopefully, Miss Pat and I will have, I don't know, we might have some handmade stuff next week. Or, oh, or we might... no, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have some journals. Wait, you will I'll miss... have photography next week. Toodles 21. I will have, uh, yeah, toodles to 2021 for sure. I, I will having a baby. <laughs> What? Oh, my <laughs> secret is out now. Oh my God. Hey, Ariana, you're getting a little brother or sister. <laughs> I forgot who that was. Yeah, Kathleen is Ariana's mommy. Because I sent him a doll. Wait, who? Mm -hmm. Oh, you sent a doll to somebody who was. Uh, oh, do you mean. Uh, you mean. Um, De uh, Deanna. Oh, Deanna Campbell. No, yeah. Deanna, that's okay. Deanna Church is her. Sister. I mean, Deanna Church, that's what I mean. You, what happened in your brain was Debbie and Deanne are sisters, right? And Deanne is sounds like Deanna, and Deanna is the one having the baby. Okay, yeah, the okay. baby, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. You got I, I, you know, I, I have different things in my brain, you know. I just works. learned how your brain worked through that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that happen. Yeah. So, well, put us both on, babe, so we can say goodnight. Uh, Paula, what is, um? I mean, Mike, what is DD? Uh, you didn't have one. I know. You had AA and BB. Yes. I don't think you had CC and DD. No. So I think he's, I think he's buying whatever hey, might when be coming are up. are you going to have a sale from the items from the estate sale? I oh. probably do. Okay. Either on Tuesday, January the 12th, I'll be on, no, wait. Wednesday, I'm going to be on Trisha's show on January. I don't have my, what's your name in here? My okay. phone. Her regular Wednesday show though. Yeah, so that'll be Wednesday at 4 o'clock on January the, okay. Oh, January Becky, 19th. that's right. Becky's going to be on with Trisha New Year's Day. Okay. And yes, then yes. Trisha's going to be on my, no, I'm going to be on, it'll be January the 12th. <laughs> January the 12th. Okay. Channel, and you'll see me post it. And then what's left over i'll be on my channel tuesday january the 18th at nine o'clock p.m i'll have the things from the estate sale you know we need to put out a count we need to put out yeah. calendars of our of our own on yeah. our I'll, I'll, i'm gonna try to put that at, you know and pin it to the top of my channel whatever unless yeah because yeah, you, know. you got the community thing now yeah unless yeah. the funeral don't be till then no telling <laughs> Candy 2022. I finally get those <laughs> curtains. <laughs> I'll find you, Miss Pat. Yeah. So I always try to post it a day before. So yeah. Honey Christie says there's gonna be a test later. 
for where you're going to be at what time. <laughs> oh, I will be on Helen's Craft Off. What is that, Margaret? Oh, yeah, I've seen her advertise it. Uh, Miss Booty? Yeah. Well, she did not invite me. Where was my invitation, Miss Booty? Oh, I'll put my channel in, Dolores. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'll be right out. Oh, you putting it in? You putting your channel? I, I'm trying to find it real fast. I'm trying to find it. I got you, girl. You you're putting it. You. Okay. January 13th. Wendy, where are you going to be January 13th? Are people just throwing out numbers? No, I see January 13th. I think I oh, think this for the is craft off. For the craft off is January. Oh, okay. I think this is my channel. I think I did it right. Yes, happy new year, Edward. Happy new year to everybody. Happy new year, yeah. And you thank you so very much, wonderful. Debbie, for telling us that, you know, giving us something so beautiful to end on. Um I'm I'm so so grateful. So have you not seen that beautiful commercial about a craft off between Helen Booty, um, Nikki, and she's blowing off her glue gun like, yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> no. you know, it's on Instagram. I think it might gotta be on, be on Instagram. It's on real Instagram. Cute. Okay, so Kathleen, if you want to watch that, she says, Oh, heck a craft off sounds fun. So uh so that's gonna whose channel is it gonna be on? I think Helen's so. channel. The New England Thrifter. Oh, Katie. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Katie girl. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, so uh let me see if I can grab it right now. Because everybody should be subscribed to Helen Booty anyway. So YouTube. Um I can't believe so. Wait, so they're all gonna craft at the same time. I'm like gonna find that come on. Let me go. Let me go find that commercial real quick. <laughs> uh, it's, I, it's, a, it's funny. Okay, it's like she's so sitting in the saloon, Helen looks like almost. <laughs> here's <laughs> here's Helen Booty's channel. Okay, thank you, Chris. Chris, you are so good at this. Yes, this Sunday, Christina and I, when you saw me like looking down and typing, uh, when Miss Pat was talking. I was actually talking to Christina because we have not talked and she she saw the uh, me on the show. And anyway, she anyway, long story. So we miss each other very much. So I am absolutely sure that we are going to be on together this Sunday. So, um, oh. so thank you. So I after dinner was on tonight. Who, it was tonight. Her. Yeah, she did an impromptu live sale with oh with Kelly, with Kelly Michelle. Kelly's I'm moving up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it was on Miss Pam's channel. I don't think that they're talking about the craft off, though. No. Oh, I just, oh, I I just saw that. that. No, um, Miss, it's a, it, it was a live haul with Kelly. Oh, because it's still it's still going now. So if y'all yeah. want something to go look at, Miss Pam's channel has the impromptu live haul with Kelly. And then Sam is doing a pop-up sale tonight of uh, ephemera, of uh, postcards. Oh, Mike, that's where you ought to be. Hold on, let me share that. Because that's where a lot of people are right now. I just went over there and a whole bunch of people are there. So let's go see oh, our right here. Okay, this, this is one Nikki did. This was the funny commercial. You gotta see this. I'm gonna okay, share Okay, and I'll right put now. in it Sam's. Sam Sale, which is paper ephemera, if you're hearing me, Mike, um, is going on right now. Tell her Jody sent you, because I love her. And uh, yeah, there. I see this. <laughs> so Kathleen is challenging everybody and then winning. Oh, Kathleen's geez. like, I challenge them all. It's a thing. I'm stepping up my game. Snap, I just won. Okay. So uh, you won, you won to come live on our show at the end of February. You'll be ready. Yes, <laughs> Catherine, oh, Catherine's already, Catherine's far surpasses my art stuff. So no, she's been, she made me that necklace, remember? And she made me the ornament and Kathleen knitted those Christmas trees that Ariana yeah. sold. 
No, she's crazy good. So, um, Paul, Kelly, you want to come on my show on a Saturday at noon? I'm trying to put, I'm trying to be like good and put my schedule together. Like Trisha told me I need to. <laughs> Trisha gives me advice all the time and I need to take it. <laughs> oh, Kathleen. Well, we'll have Ariana on first. How's that? <laughs> we'll have Ariana on first, you on second, who on third? Yeah. Does Kathleen have a channel? <laughs> Not yet. We'll work on that. Okay, I'll get in But her daughter oh. does. Her daughter does. Miss Ariana is the withering cottage. Um, yes, there is so much to keep up with Dolores. Yeah. So Dolores, I put in, and Kim, I put in Sam Sale. Miss Pat put in the commercial. Um, oh, Wendy was in the craft off, Chris says. Yeah. So, Wendy, where are you? What are you saying? Wendy said something up above. Oh, she said for Craft Off, January 13th. Okay, so I think she's going to be in the January 13th one. I don't know. I got to go check all this out. I have a ton of homework to do now tonight. <laughs> First of all, I got to go to Miss Sam sale because, you know, I got to say hi. And then... Uh, uh, Edward, keep watching. I'll be on Miss Pat's channel soon. You got it. Oh, is that what you oh. were telling her to do, Miss Paula? Yeah, I was telling Paula. But Edward, you want to be on the channel? Did I? Did I? That's what, that what you said? No, I was, no, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Edward's like, I don't even know what you're talking about, Miss Pat. But Edward, you'd be welcome. Okay, just know that you would be abs. And it was on Jen's channel. Gotcha, Margaret. Okay. Yeah, that one was on Jen. It was hilarious. Okay. I gotta, I gotta see what this whole craft off business is. The big question is, will I finish this time? Oh my God, this is like a game show. This is too cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is too cool. Christmas jewelry tree on Janine's channel. Got it. That's fine. Janine's channel. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. That it's a great idea to do a craft off. You know what? I don't want to steal somebody's idea, but I, I say, I say we do a Miss Pat challenge. We challenge Miss Pat to something and like, she has to get it done by the time we finish reading a chapter or something like that. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> All in Pat sale. Oh, okay. Yeah. The two peas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Paula is so easy to sell with. It's like magic. It's I, she just, you saw her first sale, her first live sale, Miss mm -hmm. Pat? It was good. It was good. It was like she was been very going good. all her life. Yeah. I, that's I what agree. I'm saying. She was on me and, with me and Christina, and we felt like, we just felt like we'd always been with her. It was, it was wild. We've never I felt like, quite like that with anybody. We, she was just so. Yeah, she was. She was really good. Yeah. I do a, have a challenge, though, for everyone. Okay. On one Thursday, what I would like to challenge everybody to do is come on, have at because people always say, oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. We'll put the link up. You can have one, two, you can have up to three things and come on and sell. Oh, yeah. Now, everybody can do three. Three but hands you can do one. Items. You can do one, or you can do two, or you can do three. But if you we want to do that more, lady then, with just six one time, I think. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to do more, then you have to have like one day with you the guest. But for just one time, for all these people to say, "Oh, I know my friend Antoinette. You know, she's she's kind of slow sometimes at making her stuff." So <laughs> she's she throwing shade at her friend. You know, my friend Antoinette, who's in the chat. Well, she's still on. I guess she's still on. <laughs> But anyway, she know I talk about her and tell me she got to speed up her game. You know, she oh, come Wendy. up with two things. That's a good idea too, Wendy. Wendy makes mystery craft boxes. Yeah. So basically, you guys see our emails up there. Mm -hmm. uh, I would suggest just writing to us. There's not a whole lot that we're going to say no to. I mean, poor Antoinette. Yeah. And like say tonight would have been a perfect time for mystery craft boxes. Right. Right, so, exactly. you know, if, if we're kind of slowing down, 
Oh, yeah, we, yeah, I hadn't forgotten, but yeah, we're still going to do the February Kwanzaa thing. Yes. Thank you for, I got to write that down. Um, You know, yes. we probably end up doing, honestly, since we're going weekly, because first we was just, look, Antoinette thought it was funny. <laughs> I know my butter. girl, please. That's the least Look, of what we she's are slow about sometimes me. we're getting this item made because we do have a life, okay? Not this much. <laughs> Maybe one, and since you know, Jody was telling me, well, Miss Pat, we could do it monthly and we could do it weekly. Yes, weekly. You know, so we did it three, four times a month. One of those times would be a supply <laughs> sale. And that would give us that time to get some items made. Yes. Yes, exactly that. Yeah. So, so the other thing too is if you're somebody like Ariana's friend. So, mommy, you might. <laughs> I don't think Ariana's still here, but Ariana <laughs> has that friend who um, makes puts together those ephemera packages. Have you seen them? Uh -huh. Yes. Ariana and... made some really good ones too one time that were three dimensional objects. Oh my God, she they were so good. She did a drop sale of those. But like we could have Ariana or, or, and her friend or whatever on for for those types of things so on the supply day you know so it could be mm -hmm. either supplies or the you, the items that you make so yeah yeah absolutely yeah absolutely. so be thinking about it and send us some emails because we're looking for you know different ideals and okay after february i may be in june we'll send this at five or ten items you have to open it and make it in 30 minutes <laughs> i love this idea <laughs> This is hands down the greatest, the greatest idea of the night. And, um, and yes, Edward, we absolutely should do a Valentine's Day sale or stuff for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I, I'm having one with skunky junk. So I've been saving some of my look, items. Yeah. Look what I, I have these beautiful, look at this. I, they are so neat. Speaking of that. We saw my Valentine's. Look at these old, old val Valentine cards I found. Tons oh, of, I love those. I love this stuff. Really old ones. I mean, just tons of my found at the store that look at look. Oh my heavens. You just found these, like all of these together. Right, but guess what? I don't know if you remember the vintage Christmas ones I found from this one family. Yeah. This is from the same family. Get out. And it was you got them at different times or the got same? them at different times at a di at the same antique mall. Oh my gosh. No, so she can't just... say no to that, Paula. She can't say she can't say no to doing the, the candy's idea. She can't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Like, will you have to like is it an assemblage? Like, what are we gonna make Miss Pat create in 30 minutes with what we send her? That's so good. Okay, yeah. well, I'm I'm open. They do that on one of the uh dollar store channels. Um, oh, really? Things. They do that. They send out these mystery boxes to like 10 different YouTubers and each one of them makes stuff within that mystery box. Yeah. It's interesting. I want to see you make something like, and, and, and we'll like be like into interactive on the side, like yeah. cheering you on or being like, do, do, do hey, like, I'm the music. You send yeah. random stuff and you decide what to make from it. Yes, Margaret. That that's how you Oh it. Maria. I love when I see you show up. Hi, Miss Maria. Hey Maria, how are you? She Maria showed was up on in her wait. Maria showed up in her pajamas on Trisha uh Trisha's show. I was show. there. I was well, there. I, and I was happy. I, I was there. Wait, I was there in pajamas too, but now our other friend, she was there in her pajamas, but she wouldn't put on a beautiful face. Oh, Miss uh Kathy. Kathy. Yeah, yeah, she went, yeah. she says, I'll be back. And she went and put on a full makeup. Made I know. Us look she and me both can't do, I can't come on without my makeup on. What I thought of maybe one day doing it, like just to show everybody I love them and like, this is how much I trust you. I'll come on without my makeup on. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, I don't know why it's saying, there we go. Um, I had to approve Wendy's message, I think, because it said booty in it. Oh. <laughs> that was so weird. If you were interested in seeing any of my mystery boxes, Helen Booty has yeah. unboxed two. Yeah. So again, I put Helen Booty's channel up above for 
Um, it's the New England Thrifter. So, yeah, um, um, but I put it up above if you want to see the link. So, okay, here's yeah, that would. Right I'll here. I'll check oh. that out, Wendy. I'm gonna write that down too. I got so much to watch tonight. So this I is Helen Booty's up. channel right here. I just put it in. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's whenever you see me. If you're newer, I know there are a few new people tonight. So when you see me say like my booty is here, that's who I mean. <laughs> Not my actual butt, which is also here. But yeah, I yeah. never wear makeup either. Lipstick, and I'm dressed up. I'm <laughs> full. Oh, I wish I could do that. I just, I got a lot of stuff going on here that I try to fix. Um, but, um, so, oh, you know, Kath, Paula, Kath, Paula, you make Kathleen so happy. So, <laughs> and Dolores, welcome. And we will welcome. show you, like, we, we'll show you where the parties are at, girl. Like, there are so many I channels. I think Dolores that, is more of a daytime person. I That's when I oh, see Dolores. Oh, okay. So right, she Dolores? knows where some of the parties are at? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sure glad when Miss Teresa and and um, Elizabeth get started again because I kind of miss them in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny how what a huge community we have. Yeah. She oh, said, right. But uh, <laughs> Teresa says she's she's getting better. Lots of swelling, but she is getting better. Oh, see, I I haven't even kept in touch with her. I need to figure that yeah. out. But um, I love Thanks, that Paula. Chris just put in a caveat for anybody new. That <laughs> Helen's actual last name is Booty, and that's why I say my booty is here. Because yeah, I forgot to explain that part, uh, Chris. You're absolutely right. So right now, Ms. Pat, I Kathleen yes. wants you to send her your address. Oh, so okay. I think, I think I you feel. might be getting one of those packages that you got to do in thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, when you lost your dentures, Maria. I would love to see that. See, I love that you trust your people with that. So I want to be able to do that. I'm trying to time out the bot, but I don't Thanks, know. Thanks, Jody. You got it. Okay, good. I was trying to talk and time out the bot at the same time. So, oh, I have to tell you. All right, I'll share one thing with you, Maria, or everybody. Nobody caught it, but one time I was on with Christina, and I don't even remember who else. I think it might have been Michelle. Um, Emancipation Michelle, and we were laughing so hard. That was the night we were naming muffins. I'm not going to explain that right now, but <laughs> it was, uh, we were laughing so hard and I hit my desk. This light went flying. I bent over to grab the light and I farted. And <laughs> no, nobody heard it because everybody was laughing so hard. But I came back up like, Oh, okay. Nobody heard that. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. So, Maria, I would love to see your denture video. That would be great. Uh, oh, you were watching. We have a lot. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, Jody, don't you feel much better? Don't you feel Kathleen, better? Kathleen, everyone heard it. You weren't there, Kathleen. You <laughs> lie. You lie. Oh, Paula, we were laughing so hard. You know nobody heard it. Because everybody was laughing so, like I literally broke the lamp. I was that, that was probably like night. I missed that. I probably must have been later in the show. It was. It, it had. Yes. I mean, we lost it. It was people. Should, <laughs> oh, that's Honey, wild. Chris, you okay. remember? People should watch that show. Uh, so if you go to, I, it's on my channel. If you watch the one with Michelle. Uh, I believe it's the only Michelle. Oh, we're mm -hmm. we're gonna be on. Me and Christina are gonna be on with Comfy Cozy Michelle this coming Sunday. But this is Emancipation <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> and just watch it for the laughter. Like it was so fun. It was the. It was probably one of the best nights of 2021. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> no, it wasn't with Trisha Candy. No, Trisha was there though, laughing her butt off. Oh. Yeah. Yo, yeah. We try to come and have a good time, and we both needed this this evening the laughter, the love, the friendship, everything. So, we amen. Need it. Amen. Yeah. I and you would do good. You, you, Antoinette, if you came on, you know, you're on YouTube, it, I mean, on um, Instagram, this would be a great way for you to share some of your devotional things that you do. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, it's a following for everything. People are looking, especially now. People are looking, and so you could really spread your message there. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was crying real tears. <laughs> oh, no. I'm serious. If you haven't seen that episode, even if you, I don't know if it was like the last hour was the most fun or what, but whenever, <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not giving anything away. You got to see it. <laughs> There's some surprises that even uh, Christina and I didn't know were coming. And it was just really funny. So uh, now Maria wants your mail and address. Girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're getting some stuff. You're getting some stuff. You know what, Maria? I had something for you. Um, a package a while back. But for some reason... Your email kept bouncing back to me, from me. Padoodles, my nieces love their dolls. Thank you. I'm glad. Okay, Miss Polly. Yeah, it was the last hour and a half. Yeah. It was after those books came out. And Pamela 13 is the proud owner of those books now. So... <laughs> Uh, we're going to get ready to get off and I'm going to go in here and check on Mr. Green. Yes. Give him, give him my love. Because he's been off and on the phone. So I've been hearing him. So I know yeah. I'm gonna be up real late. So this way I can go and hear that. <laughs> and Deanne, we heard the good news about from your sister Debbie tonight. Yep. We heard the good news. Mm -hmm. So thank <laughs> you. So uh, yeah. I'm trying well, to buy less collectibles and create more. That's a great idea. Oh, and yeah. I have the same set of books I got from Sugar Bridges. Awesome. Yeah, Honey Christie yeah. has those books that were making us laugh that night. She got some. <laughs> so. Yes, Deanna, it's my awesome. Pillows. Send my pillows, Jody. <laughs> she wants her, she wants her uh, invoice like that night. That's how Chris operates. <laughs> and you know what? I got I got you, girl. It's funny. I always see the squeak. The, what is it? The squeaky wheel does get the grease or something like yeah. that. Because I every time I have a sale, and I don't, I hope this doesn't embarrass her. She knows how much I love her. I put Chris's name at the top. Like when <laughs> it's time to ship, I've got Chris's name at the top because she's like, let's go. Let's go. So yeah. Well, I'm going to be invoicing to tomorrow to get all caught up on my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, now we switched places. I don't know why you you went off and came back on that side. I don't know. I don't know what I no, wanted to be somewhere way. else. I wanted to be. We somewhere. appreciate y'all so much. You don't know. You know, one of my favorite things is so many other places you can be. So we so appreciate you joining us for this time. And so go show somebody else on YouTube a little bit of love and. We'll be here next week. Uh, inshallah, Maybe. as I like to say, God willing, we will be here next week. So, yep. yeah, we will. Uh, and I love you, honey. Happy Christy, you. We see fall. everybody. We see everybody next year. <laughs> yeah, see you next year. Uh, but I just said, okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Have love you guys so much. Evening. Thank you for being bye -bye. here. For